and we should be good to go. All right, go to create, go to go live. Monetization on, give me some money, baby. There we go. Yeah, let's find the team server. More wheel. We've pinged everyone. LTM time, baby. Yes, sir. What's up, Frosty? How's it going, bro? Hopefully well. Hopefully well. I put this in goons. And then we'll put it in a little bit of Dragon's Den as well. All right, stream content. Or stream pong. There we go. There we go. Yo, LTM time. Yes, sir. It sure is E-Man, how's it going gang? Starting off with the goat first, you just happen to be the first guy who plugged, buddy. Get off your high horse. It's going alright, what's up Bash? That's good to hear, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear we we're all doing so great, and we're so excited for the LTM watch through. They have seven games to watch, we're not gonna watch um, my side or my opponent's side, um, but you can definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Keep uh, forgetting to edit my uh, draft analysis vid. I have the audios and graphics. Hey, you gotta get on it. When is the uh, when is the draft analysis due? That's on there. Off. No, getting on. Getting on. Get it on. All right. We'll wait a couple seconds till we start. Uh, we got seven games. I kind of just picked at random um, slash ones I wasn't super um, familiar with, like because some of the coaches stream their games in the server, so I kind of like watch them in the background. Usually, I actually don't know like the ins and outs of a lot of these games though, which is good. So we're gonna be watching Keegan today. Um, Amel, Hunky, uh, Obo, J Scarf, Vapsis, and Addison are the four or the seven that we have. Are we doing well? I'm doing good, man. It's my day off, stream day. No, it is not too bad. I think my um, what do you call it? Might be canceled tonight too. My night class, which would be super fire. I would love the day completely off. The goat. What's up, Dapper? How's it going, brother? Hopefully, hopefully, well, I need to get commands in Nightbot. What I'll be doing though, is I'll be just linking these videos um, in chat. So you guys can always like, you know, go drop a like, all that stuff. Cause we're watching the video and you guys are watching. So if you don't want to go back and rewatch them, that's totally fine. But at least maybe throw them on the background, give them the watch time, give them a like, sub if you haven't, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll just kinda, run through it. We'll watch the seven games. We're not going to watch my side or my opponent's side, though, because, again, I think that's kind of pointless, um, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. How many times have we been? It's been about three. We'll start in about, at about four minutes. Not going to be home, but enjoy the like. Thank you so much, John Jr. I appreciate it. Very nice of you. You know, and if you haven't liked like John Jr., who's not even going to be here, what are we doing? I watch most. Good to watch the rest. Good time to watch the rest. Yes, sir. 100%. Shout out to Keegan for having the LTM logo, like, in his first, like, seconds of the vid. Because it, like, it, it advertises the stream quite well. Alright, we'll kind of skim through team builders and just watch. We'll also be watching them a little bit faster than normal. We'll probably be watching 1.5, 1.75, depending. Um, but yeah. That being said, oh, we just jumped up to 17. It's time to go, baby. Let me go ahead and pause the glitch in the background. Because we're not going to need the background noise now. Um, yeah, drop a like if you haven't. Remember, if we get three more members, we're going to give five. So, you know, in that case, if three people get memberships, eight people get memberships, which is pretty fire. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think we could run it. Let's go ahead and turn it up. 
We have week one of the low tier mayhem against Viz and his Mediterranean. Watch Mr. Keegan. Off a very impressive season in the Go ahead and link it in As the As I said, my draft analysis and retrospective video, this league is an opportunity to get back on track and back to winning ways. Clean slate marks, baby. Opponent, as you shown in the last season of the BBR, so we definitely have our work cut out for us to start this season. If you're excited about low tier mayhem, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Do not miss a single of video. Of course, subscribe. Yeah, this is a, this is a brutal week one matchup. Keegan's trying to bounce back from a tough BBR season, and Viz had a phenomenal BBR season. Losing in semis to. We have Crooked Isle, Oxy, and Polio. Oh, look at the graphics. I didn't actually see these. Toros, Reggie Drago. I actually have not seen these. These are cool. Ampharos and Claw. Getting into the matchup, there are a few key Pokemon. They look like uh, chips, matchup. which I fuck this with. This team consists of Primarina, Overkill, <laughs> Inferior, Gold I watch Dappers. who's going to watch Toads. I think you're watching Ursa Thomas too. Oh, nice. So you got plenty of games you haven't seen yet. This is yet. Terra Captain is Jolteon, which is typically one of the better low-tier Terra Captains, especially with free Terra. Getting access the one thing I will say, though, with Viz's team, is I really, really would have liked to see... I think Terra Rhyperior is so good. Maybe it's just the hater in me. Oh, I caught it mid-transition frame. Um, I'm not big on Jolt, man. On a work call, Mr. OG, DM me uh, on Discord if you have questions about the play. You're good. Uh, I'm sure I'll question a lot because you suck. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm really not a big Jolteon guy. I think he's very, 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 very mid and really, really lacks versatility. I think something like Terra Rhyperior would be insane on Fizz's team. Um... Now, I think that also subsequently means get rid of Jolteon because he's ass without Terra. Uh, but it's just something to keep in mind. I think, like, when I saw Round 3 up here, I was like, oh shit, yeah, he's he's going to be the Terra Ripe guy. And that was the mod I almost got, right? Yeah, Articuno. Articuno is another one. There's like 10 mods in this team that want Terra or would be good with Terra. These two guys can't Terra. Riparian wants Terra. Jolteon wants Terra. Dude, Breloom would be nasty with Terra. Was Terra um, Ripe allowed? Yeah, it was. Um, Jolteon, we allowed a lot of higher-end guys to Terra. Um, here, hold on, let me pull up the, really quick, we'll play Keegan's team build in the background while I pull up the dock. Um, this just so there's noise. This game is to get uh, not the real dock, the fan dock. dock. I don't want to spoil Jolteon. week two results in a week one watch through. Um, give me one sec, give me one sec. By then clicking knock off in turn one, we can get key damage and item removal. I'm gonna make sure while also maintaining that, yeah, the ability to recoil twice one. if the overquill stays in. This means worst case scenario, this gets up two spikes and we have Ooh, a little health crooked. That's Addison. Dollar <laughs> nature and 200 speed right. allows us to outspeed max speed Gyarados, so, as well as most probable basically, the Maladon sense. Thunder the way we did Terra is we're free Terra, Terra preview, right? So if you can Terra, you can Terra and dub whatever you want. Terra Jolt on the goat. Oh, dude, I forgot Bash is the biggest one. Um, Terra Jolt is pretty mid, yeah. So 16 through 14 all cannot Terra. So you see a couple mods on Viz's team. Um, in like Prim and uh, Overquill. Pretty high up there. They can't. And then there's Select Terra Bands, Enam, Serp, Oxy, things like that. But for the most part, we allowed a lot of things to Terra. Um, I think that f I'm personally not a big fan of like low tier Terra and Standard or like low, low tier Terra and like low tier. I think Force Creativity leads to more restrictive building, personally. Jolteon has been underwhelming to build against. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 strong on paper, like you understand it, right? But it's at the same time, guy who guy who gets free volts and is decently strong. I don't know. I, I would love something right like right here, who defensively with solid rock is unbelievably good with Terra, and on top of that, finds super free rock bosses and sword stances. Um, but we can see the team so far. Um, we see that he was let's scroll through. He's clear amulet. Um, crook, just four attacks. We love ourselves a good crocodile. Um, Thunderfang for. Gyro probably smokes it. Um, helmet, Spadef Empo. I'm assuming that's just to like punish uh, Prim on flip turns, chip it down, and actually do damage to it. Um, Roar in case it's like a Calm Mind variant. Which makes sense. Um, safety Goggles Oki, which just probably means it's the Breloom Pivot, which makes sense. Just again, four attacks, does a ton of damage. Don't a weird case, we're restricted to like two to three good tears, makes building against it easier. Yeah, that's fair. I have to build against it this week, and um, it, even if it goes ice, it gets me unconfident. Yeah, and you can kind of always telegraph it's going to be like, it's going to be ice, fairy, water, or grass every single time. Ice, fairy, water, grass. And I, I personally really, really value versatility out of my Terra Captain. And, like, this guy's got to be very ridiculous. Um, this guy is a uh, clear amulet, it looks like this week. Just SD3 attacks, Psyblade, Terra Blast, Terra Blast Ground. And Wild Charge. Again, nuke that Gyarados. There's a lot of Gyarados-specific prep. We have God, uh, Ambrose here. Discharge, Focus Blast, Endeavor, and Bulldoze. 
allowing Ogi Dunn okay. to eventually with Poison Jab. I'm in a league now where we have three Terra Captains with Terra Preview, and I have Elkrami, Reggie, Drago, and Bastion. Drago seems crazy. Drago seems crazy. We banned that guy here. That guy's super broken. Um, at least, like, depending on the content. Like, if you're playing, like, standard, and most things can Terra, then I don't think it's that bad. But, oh, and then we have fucking Cloth! Let's go! I will say, um, in uh, being uh, Keegan's buddy, Helping him build. His initial build did not have cloth. I'm like, dude, you're going to get smoked by Typhlosion. Typhlosion super smokes over the course of this game if he can uh, find a way to prevent hazards and keep them off. To be fair, it doesn't do that great, and I think that's something that's tough about having Typhlosion on the build, right? It's such a, like, over-centralized mod in a meta like this. Um, but yeah, I was like, dude, you might get super El Creamy's kill later with 11 kills coat. Dude, it's time to double dance up, baby. Um, but yeah, I, I, I told him, I was like, dude, you, you like super struggle with um, Typhlosion if we don't have Claw for Drago. And Drago's kind of mid in a prim, right? It doesn't like really do anything. So I'm glad we uh, grabbed it. My team is Urshifu Dark plus Zama Crowned. Hey, who cares when you got an El Creamy, right? All right, so we see his team. He's got Dur Dur. Um, he has no Jolteon, so no Terra Captain from his side. Don't have to worry about it. Prim, Breloom, Gyarados, who... <laughs> I want you to, <laughs> I, I kind of just pointed out the mod that something's wrong with. Um, level 50 Gyarados. I don't know what happened in his jetting, um, but I don't think Viz noticed until mid-game, and at that point, kind of didn't notice. Um, then Typhlosion, which I did expect. I thought that was really, really strong here. I think I've only brought Terra Ice Jolteon uh, once. Mostly depends on the matchup, but I feel like uh, I brought Terra Fighting, really. You know, I think I just got gifted my first draft league championship. I won um, a round two match against uh, Shattered, and the other two people didn't battle. I missed the deadline, haven't responded to my... Let's go! <laughs> Dude, a, a, a championship's a championship, Kaz. We take this, baby. Congrats, big dog. Dude, I don't think Keegan's noticed the level 50 either. So one thing I'm going to do to lead out here is going to continue to lead the same Crocodile set. Uh, I think it's probably the yeah, I think Crook is a safe lead. Team still. I could lead with Empoleon, actually, um, but I think just just staying to the same game plan is probably just going to be for the best in this scenario. Um, right, sorry, I got fantasy baseball notifications. Uh, well, hey, we take those, bro. We can switch to you relatively easily. Uh, Speaking of uh, finals opponents that aren't scheduling, Halbert has yours reached out to you yet? I know you. I know you told me last night that he just hasn't. Yo, why does Keegan get ads? He's not even getting paid yet. This ain't even Keegan's money. How's it going, my guy? Thriller, we are doing good. We are chilling, streaming, watching some games. And he's been, uh, dude, nine months. I appreciate you for the nine months, Thriller. You are the absolute goat. Thank you so much. That cool Mega Salamence badge next to you. Hey, if three more you guys get it, then eight more you guys will get it. That's all I'm saying. I'll have a cool badge and some cool emotes. Somebody drop some cool emotes in the chat, like Snowy, who's being a dick and barking right now. So I can just earthquake and put as much damage as possible. That looks like what we're going to get to have happen here. And that's very much a defensive side. So we know Holy like shit. Uh, Holy shit. Yeah. I understand this isn't like a max attack crook. And I understand like Durders both you with Evio. My face cam's a little bit in the way. It's... That did like 40%, big dog. You're going today after 4.30. Big, good luck. You gotta send me... Uh, make sure you send me the link when you start playing. I wanna watch. Make sure you send me the link when you play. Am I getting friend requests? I feel like I'm missing something on this calc here. Since making it do so well. Um, I think at this point what I want to do is knock off. I can knock off here. This thing can't really pressure me offensively. No, I mean this thing. It, I mean it can body press, but doesn't matter. No, I think knock off is safe. You'll knock it out with EQ next turn. I forget that this thing is a fucking doesn't have an Yeah, ouch! I lied. It does pressure. That did a shit ton, dude. This is Duralit on the fucking crook check, man. Dude, Kaz gift him one membership. We are so close. And Frosty becoming a Salamence member. Hold on. I looked away from my monitor for three seconds. Holy moly. Look at you guys. Holy crap. I gotta move up the member goal real quick. Big, big thank you to both of you. Frosty becoming a Mence member. And Kaz gifting a whole membership. We are one away, guys. One away from five gifted. A single one. A single one. I appreciate y'all. Looks like big fizz death drop. Yeah, very, very fizz death. I mean, obviously the body press did like fucking 65, you know? So, it, we figured as much, but I just didn't think it would take that little from EQ. Never in my life would I think Crooked Eye would 2 KO Duraludon from neutral. Okay. Something that's scary is mid-ground bulldozes into Oki is really, really scary. Um, I know originally he had Oki on this team, which was a better check to this thing, like, in theory. But, yeah, this guy's really, really scary. Um, he doesn't have Zen Headbutt, so Mach does a ton. 
Yeah. Frosty's gonna gift one more. Oh, and Thomas got it. All right, I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it. When Keegan gets mad that we aren't watching his game in succession, we know why. Oh, we're gifted. Look at that. 26. What is going on? Huge. Huge. Cass is gifting one more. Thriller's gifting one more. I appreciate you guys. Holy moly. It's holding us three more. 27 out of 25. Just in time, yeah, I got to, I appreciate you guys traveling to Finland to watch my stream. That's really nice of you guys. All right, hold up. I got to get five more. So that means what we'll, I get, dude, I'm doing math now. So it means we'll get to 32, right? Um, we'll do 32 out of 35 will be the next uh, goal. 32 out of 35. All right, hold on. I got to get five more. I got to get five more. Give me a second. Give me a second. I got to pull up the stream on mobile or on... Uh, what do you call it? On my other monitor. It doesn't let you do it from like Streamlabs for some fucking reason, which I don't get. Um, but we'll take it. All right. Gifties. All right. Any, any Dodgers? Five. There we go. Let's see. How are we looking? Also, of course, like the stream if you haven't done so already. Big, big. Here's five more. Vepsis. Extra. I thought Thriller got another one. I was like, wait, what? Hydro. Playmaker. And may may hello. I don't know how to say it, but y'all got one and a cool little baseball. It's a profile picture. We do love a good baseball fan. There we go. We're up to thirty two out of thirty five. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Very very nice. You guys showing a bunch of support on the stream. Um, and also big shouts to Frost for becoming a men's member. Make sure you check out like the perks and stuff. If you are in the Discord, um, jump into the Discord. But um, men's gets you some fun perks like helping you build for games. Like I've been helping Helper build for his uh, playoff games. All right. Let's watch Keegan's game. I feel bad. With this Pokemon, we'll always Turn up all right. The pressure overquill and make sure that rock is not even moved. That's not really there anymore, so we get a decent chance to toxic or poison the Rampirier. And we're just gonna poison job and take that opportunity yeah. as he lets us attack. Sash? The it has to be Sash, right? Set. Okay, so it's focus. Uh, are you sash. gonna get poison though? Interesting to see, and this is counter. Wow, focus Sash into Spore. <laughs> big, <laughs> big not, goggles is, coming uh, up clutch. Wait, that's great uh, positioning there, for Keegan. In a really bad spot. Wait, that's incredible positioning for Keegan. I, I you just brought this thing down to Sash for no reason. Free his knockoff of your life too. Pressure something like Rhyperior that might want to come in here. I say Rhyperior in that if No, Hunky did, did dodge. I think Hunky's best gotten best a few before in the past. Close combat to I think Hunky's gotten a few before in the past. Uh, but I think knockoff is a good enough of a cover. Plus two Iron Lee's Terra Ground, Terra Blast. It two hit, uh, kills Rhyperior after this knockoff damage. And if it it's just a yeah. chance to remove I mean the knock is for it, dude in Oki just has no pivots on the team this uh that Viz brought. Especially because that Gyarados is level 50, even if it was Fizz Def. Kaz is upgrading his membership to Salamence. Holy moly, you guys are going crazy today. You guys are going absolutely wild today. I appreciate it. Again, make sure you check it out. Just join your Discord. Let's go. I need to update the, the members uh, only chat too. So I'll do that after stream probably. Let's go. You haven't? Dude, you're always in stream too. That's crazy. So I think we just saw, we realized the, um, the level 50 Gyarados. And I think... Based on this damage, being that knockoff at minus one, 50 levels above, only did like 60%. This is, and it was Rocky Helmet. This was super physically defensive Gyarados. So, like, this is really unfortunate. Um, especially if it was like a rest variant. Um, really, really annoying for Viz. Um, I mean, yeah, you just, you just take your KO here. You just take your KO here. Did I, did I miss a crit here or something? What did I miss? I feel like I missed something on this scenario. Realistically, at this point, nothing. Yeah. I think you're in a great spot. You're in a great spot right now. Uh, Earthquake is doing from Jolly 252. There's a good amount of range here, about half and half here. So at this point, we've basically resolved the. Why is this level 50? Did he not realize? Well, that's why. Did why is this level 50? There's oh, no way God. he realized that shit, dude. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, I guess I like, thunder punch and kill this. Yeah, <laughs> no I'm reason so not to. What? Oh my goodness. This is I mean, he's gonna just sack this thing. I mean, right, you can keep it as an intim pivot, I guess, right? Like it's an intim sack, so but like I'm looking at this calc. Like, there's no way anything in this calc really. leads to that doing that much damage. How did that? I don't know. I guess I'm going uh, one more like, hunky like, better get her. It's a fat the elf. True. I would expect to go. You know why this guy this Gyarados is level 50. Hunky does just need um, Well, I guess he, he picked up the Gyarados now and now professional he, dodger really some might say. Uh, he, some now, call him Shohei Otani. Out of all jokes aside on that scenario. Uh, I think likely unless he was drawing next. All-star player. Uh, that scenario was in the third And professional dodger. dodger. All right, does he get it? Seventh Sun Gaming getting a gifted membership. That is unfortunate. I mean, you have a super free um, um, this is probably Scarf Eruption. That was what do you call it? In preparation for this game, is it Scarf Eruption? Cloth, right here. Um, focus um, Blast, you lost Focus, focus Blast. It's pretty crazy. Fat L, it has indeed become a Fat L. They're trying so hard for you, Hunky. Eruption does nothing to this thing, which is great. Um, super Free Knock. 
Um, I think it's like pretty evident that the Rhyperior is going to come in. Oh. Um, so what I could do is I can get really aggressive here and just kind of like take advantage of the situation and double mm. into something. Like no, I don't like this. Surf off. There's actually really no. I don't like this. See, I, I understand why he's making this play. He's like, okay, Rhyperior is coming in. We know that, right? Good play. Good play. Right. But I don't think Empo is the play to punish this. I, we have a combination of knock into um, what do you call it? We have knock into um. What do you call it? Crab hammer to do a ton of damage. We also just knock this thing's item off in case it's like some kind of Pasho variant, which this Empo doesn't cover. And if we sack off this Empo, we're in a terrible spot into that prim. Like a really, really bad spot into the limb, uh, into the prim. So I don't know if I super agree with that. I would personally much rather knock and then pivot and sack something off, whether it be Oki or, or um, Crook, or even just getting hard leaves and putting on some crazy pressure. Knocking off any item off of Rhyperior is really, really nice here, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't know if I agree with the double. Um, this might be like I get like the aggressive play, but especially when your water doesn't resist fire. Um, yeah. And perfect, he goes right here. Okay, so we're going to get to, to get the rest of the damage. Like, I, like obviously, you need cloth, right? So you don't lose to the Typhlosion. And we are very, very fast. I wish I dodged Stone as much as I dodged memberships. True. Um, now, this does mean we have to put a lot of damage if he... Yeah, see, this really uh, scares me. If this is, like, Spadef, it'll live, because this is, like, no investment. Or if it's just Pasho. Or if it's, like, super fast right here, like, offensive. And we're going to get a big surf off here and just kill the right here. You're out. It worked out. We're good. Hey, we're good. We're good. I got to move it to 33 on the text. problems with this matchup. Uh, was dealing with the Rhyperior as well. I mean, that's great. Point, I, I think really in really concept, bad. though, I think knocking is a lot it's safer not there. That can do to prevent that Pokemon I think um, that more than makes up for the not weight since I owed you some Salamence since you won BBR. Let's go! Yes, sir! We finally won, the, we won a fucking Wi-Fi League. And then immediately lost week one. Spoilers. Of the next league. into the build that I had. So we do have to be mindful to not to play into something. But yeah, I appreciate you, bro. If he goes into something like Primarina, I think I'm just going to set up Stealth Rocks, to be honest, because I do have Roar. I mean, you're Rocks in its face. Yeah, you're not worried, worried about it setting like... up. Loom um, comes out. We haven't gotten our rocks yet, which is a little uh, annoying. Do I do anything besides just go into Ogie Dogie? I mean, really, there's... I will say, this is a very free mid-ground Bulldoze. Um, so if he has it, I think he clicks it here. I think he. I think Viz needs to recognize if he sacks off this Empo, he's in a super shitty spot against the Prim. So I'm clicking uh, Bulldoze because it's, it's also mid ground since it gets off a ton of damage, right? Um, so if he has it, he should click it. That's a play you would have to make to get it back into this. See? Yeah. Good play. Bulldoze is, I guess, another good way to actually capitalize on the situation. So yeah. He's gonna bulldoze there. So now okay. is is can I? Which definitely makes sense. I mean, can't you just go leaves and super smoke? I think I can go into the. Um, I don't think I've watched. You're back about to watch the eclipse. Yeah, oh, is there an eclipse really right now? Don't wait! Don't eclipse. actually watch the eclipse. I think you're not supposed to look at that. My mom just texted me and was like, "Don't fucking look at it." <laughs> so please be careful and don't stare at it. Just start getting kills with this. Um, yeah, we had to be mindful of this Pokemon was to keep HP on it to wild charge, but there's nothing we have to wild charge here at this point. And is there a reason I don't just SD in this form? I don't think you SD. I mean, you are clear amulet. Um, you do resist stabs. I guess you're worried about like random aerial ace, yeah, but, but like bulldoze, spore, mock punch bulldoze. There's no way the last move is aerial ace, right? Gonna go crazy here and scarf type lotion just comes back. Like scarf type lotion just comes in. Yeah, I think you just attack. That's what I want. So, um, I kind of just have no reason to not just attack in this in this turn, really. Yeah. If he goes into the marina, then I can wild charge that uh, after, and that's going to be able to kill. I agree. But overall, I think we're we're, we're kind of fine at this point to just kind of continue to just click that moves just to do damage because at this point there's just not enough turns for him to turn this around yeah. against my team, especially with Ampharos in the back. Ampharos is going to be able to provide some good value. To a big Ampharos. Too late. Ice so burnt down. Arena. Thanks. The ice burnt down. <laughs> Where did they go down for? Yo, what is King getting these ads for? Big dog, give him his money at least. They just know Keegan's about to hit monetization, dude. Also, please check out Keegan. Please. Holy to it, KO. Oh, this is like raps, man. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to go for another side lane. I guess I have no reason not to. No. Yeah, there's literally no reason not to. I mean, this thing super smokes at this point. Kind of be done. So I'm just going to make sure there's no, like, Endure nonsense that I can get caught on here. So there is Endure that I can actually potentially play around here. I'm not really sure what Endure would really... I mean, but, like, Endure, then you go into Empo, get up your rocks, and kill the Raylum, right? Another Iron Leaf's kill here. And we do get another Iron Leaf. Yeah, like, if it Endures, really it happens um, the next turn. Yeah, so, like, you're fine. have to be Typhlosion here. I could just... I'm going to look at the calcs on this Typhlosion. 100%. So, this play, in my opinion, I think you pivot out here. Reason being, like, I know you can Terra, you'll definitely live in Eruption, right? This guy's Spadef isn't bad at all. Um, but I think the play is always Cloth here. 
because cloth will kill um Breloom. it prevents you know any shenanigans in that regard um and you can just come in and knock this thing off and then win with leaves afterwards um if you need to and you keep this thing healthy and out of range of mock punches and you aren't forced into your terra um it's a little bit slower and it gets your leaves one less kill probably um, but I really do cloth, think that Cloth is probably the play yeah. here. I, I say this because I know but Keegan stays in and Terra Blast, which does pick up a KO. Um, but I think, again, Once again I mean, I could have been slightly KO, better position. Very, uh, what's it called? I could just be very disciplined and have gone into... Slightly better position. Just the game that way. But come on, we want to see a Scarf Eruption. We, we want to see this kind of pull off here, you know what I mean? He's gonna so there's Scarf, scarf Eruption. Kill, and there's, there's some crit rolls that could kill. I guess I had less HP than I had mentioned. Uh, at that mm -hmm. point. Terra Blast. So this is going to be able to pull up a knockout on the Typhlosion. I don't think it matters. Grand Scream, we do knock it out. Danny, gifted a membership. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Dude, we're about to have another sub goal, or another member goal. You guys are going crazy today. Holy moly. I hope you've been doing good, man. Thank you so much. Hunky with another dodge. <laughs> Get Hunky a membership 2k24. Please. After, I mean, having a very, very poor season in uh, the... I guess this shit... I guess it doesn't matter. I yeah, so I mean... You know, look, this Braylon looks really threatening into really everything really else. Now, the, the main thing is I don't I think this, this guy dies. Know. But... Oh, but Spore. Yeah, this puts us in a really, really uncomfortable position, right? There's because while this thing can live, it also forced Bulldoze yeah, afterwards. I guess I, yeah, I now we're getting Spore. It's a little spooky, uh, man. I, this, though, I don't think... It's a little spooky, man. You really want to wake up here. To, to kind of play into that. So I guess I'm probably going to lose differential by doing this. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't go hard empo because he's going to bulldoze. Well, it doesn't make contact. Like, to get an intimidate off on this Pokemon if he wants to. Yeah, he can't get one. Apparently, <laughs> fucking not. Which is super dumb. <laughs> that, this horrible playing here. Yeah, so he keeps the sleep sack. So he's 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 adjusting from here, right? Doing much better. Bolt seed also makes sense. Does not make contact. Now the only thing is is now you can go empo. And then, yeah, Empo's gonna live one. Um, it also can't put you to sleep. So I think you're okay if you mock punch was just the most damage, or maybe if he gets five hit bullets, he even gets a lot of hits. There's a possibility. At the end there, but we did throw a little bit of diff. One, two. No, I think he's fine unless he got a bunch of crits. Yeah, he's fine unless he got a bunch of crits. Or so he got five. If he got one crit though, I think it might have been wraps, which is crazy. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. What's what's my internet looking like? I don't even think crits. Okay, well he lives, I right? We see he lives. It's a five hit though, which is like kind of wild. <laughs> like that, that was actually a little bit risky at the end, but big kill for Napoleon, and that is week one of the. LPN yeah, there he goes. Good game. So, yeah, I think um, I think that, that I Keegan that. understands he could have played that endgame a lot tighter. And I think it literally just going cloth secures him like two diff, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, or at least makes the not, the game not scary because we have leaves at full resisting mock punch and is going to be able to kill. So, yeah, really good one from Keegan, though. Um, overall, I think he played the early game like very, very offensive. Does Terra Cerulege or Terra Garrus sound more busted? I'm going to draft with Torrenty and DOS trying to scoop up a broken Terramon. Gyarados for sure. I think Cerulege is really, really good. I think Gyarados is ungodly broken. That guy's insane. Like Amel's video. All right, go check out Amel. As you can see from the title, Choice Band Reggie Gigas. Let's go. <laughs> Big Choice Band Gigas from Amel. I know this team from Amel is very drippy, too. He is, uh, he's not playing around with this one. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. Also, by the way, we have had crazy, crazy support on the stream. 12 new members total with all the gifties. With all the gifties. So, something I will ask, though. We got 21 viewers, only 12 likes. Let's make it 20. At least one below, right? Um, but let's check out Amel. Um, Amel is playing D-Ray this week. So, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. We're going to kind of scroll over Amel's thing and see exactly what he's rocking with. Okay. Interesting. We see a grassy glide. On this superior right here. I know, so keep in mind, context, uh, D-Ray does have rain. Even though there's a chance for a neutralizing gas right? freezing. Imagine, Imagine not watching your side. Daniel will watch your side no, next no, week. I, I saw your side in stream, so I wanted to watch Amel's side. But we'll watch your side next week. We'll always go either which way. But, really cool. Um, He is Leaf Storm, Sunny Day, Giga Drain, Grass Glide. I mean, this thing's always going to be good into uh, rain, right? And low tier. Um, keep in mind, this thing is obviously Terraban. That's why it's allowed to be contrary. Frosty, gifted a membership. Fuego, JTV. 
Uh, Fuego JT getting it from Frosty. Hunky, it's just not meant to be, brother. I'm sorry. It's just not meant to be. I appreciate the gifties nonetheless. I mean, we could try as much as we want for Hunky. We move to a new goal. 40. What would we do if we hit 40? We gotta do some kind of cool goal, because we came into we came into stream today at 22 members. Ability shield, what does D-Ray have um, to bring that? I think D-Ray has a wheezing. Um... Hunky, my god, gets the gift. I wish you could specifically gift people. I get why they don't do that, but... Yeah, I think, um... It's for, it's for wheezing. Still boost no matter what. It's for wheezing. It's encore is strong. Alright, oh, and we have Grassy Glide plus Terrain Extender Seed Sower, which is really, really cool. So, um, into, like, that, um, that rain matchup, Floatzel's a big, big threat. We sack off the, uh, Arbeliva or something of the sorts. We get into Superior, and we can outspeed and Grassy Glide it and pick it off. That's really cool. That's really cool positioning. I like that a lot. But of course, we have God Terra Normal, <laughs> Choice Ban Reggie Gigas with Zawardo, too. I was hyping this vid, not hyping the next, but what's up, stream? Leave a like. Hey, man, you gotta be hype all the time! At this point, just start stream on Twitch so you can give him the sub. So true. We're gonna have one Twitch sub. I still have my Twitch account. I used to stream on Twitch. Um, and it's just going to be honky. That's it. That's it. You thought Hoshio Biden was getting gifts. Uh, but here we are getting, uh, for Hunky to get the gifts. Hey, man. And both of us are getting gifts right now. Um, but Choice Band Regigigas, um, I don't think D-Ray has great conventional normal resists on his team, if I'm remembering correctly. Now, you're playing against Rain yourself, right? You're Amo. You're playing against Rain. You have a random fucking gold duck on your team. You're like, let's go. I'm gonna bring Swiss Swim and, like, Nasty Plot and go crazy. No, instead, uh, actually, we're gonna bring Rocky Helmet Physically Defensive Cloud 9 to check Floatzel with Flip, tor flip Turn, Encore, Knock Off, and Yawn as its moves. So, Amel really, really C-team D-Ray Week 1. It's pretty unfortunate to see. Um, we have Life Warp, just very, very standard four attacks. Um, Lucario, I think this is the best Lucario is going to be used this season in the sense of just like be offensive and click buttons. Don't try and set up Swords Dances. Very, very often it's super, super hard to get this guy set up, especially without Terra, um, being able to like kind of force him 50 50s and things of the sort. So I like that a lot. Um, and then we have uh, Never Melt Ice, Ice Body with Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, Alluring Voice, which is pretty cool, and Ice Shard. Fun fact, Surgeon's broken, no terror. Especially when you got rain. Especially when you got rain. That's how we know he didn't get kidnapped. Okay. So we see D-Ray's team. Um, the Gigas has no resist. I think, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, D-Ray, tell me if I'm wrong, you were Terra Steel on your Scrafty. Yeah? You were Terra Steel here. Um, and then just kind of rain offense from here, float soul. Um, Vikavolt's actually really good offensively here. There's not anything that switches into fucking Vikavolt yeah, if that guy gets in early. I mean, if it's a lead Vikavolt, I might as well, no? Or if it's a lead Scrafty, yeah. that's bad. Also, I know he's Terra Steel, so no matter what, my cross comes yeah. to Luke Carver's gonna... That, and that is very true. Terra Steel means there's no 50-50 in your amazing. loop. amazing. And you can just kind of click the button, which is cool. There's no, like, Terra Fairy, Terra, Fo Terra Poison, you know anything like that. Terra Steel. Is. So that's obviously really nice. It, it hurts your, it hurts your so, Gigas, but other than that, you're in a good spot. Uh, we're gonna improvise. Actually, I'm just gonna click Drain Punch. Unless he's Intimidate. We're gonna switch. Or should I just lead? I gotta lead Gigas. Lead Gigas. Screw it. I gotta lead Gigas. Dude, he's ready to go. Immediately. Immediately. Oh, wait. I forgot to speed it up. I was like, he's going a little slow. I know Amos a little faster than this. That's thing to think about the Gulagas on G-Ray. Let's have a match. This is the first match of the season for us. There we go. Not the very first match. Or the, or the league as a whole, but for us, it is the first match. There you go. Come, this guy, like this time. Don Julio, that's the Don fan. Perfect. We're going to be able to click the button. So just to let you know, I am slower because I have max HP on this Gigas. Okay. Yeah, do you want to take this knock I'm going to click the button. I guess this is fair, right? You punish rocks. I guess it's like 40. Also, this getting damage on this thing, too, would super, super help out with this Lucario ending. Because Lucario smokes. It's like one of the only things that takes a fucking hit from Lucario from full man. Like one of the only things. I think a lot of offense will get to a KO by Life or Close Combat. Oh, we're going to get out and... Okay, I mean, that's valid. Especially because there's no freeze jar resist right now. Um, Because there's no Scrafty. And he has no ice beam switch in. Like none. Yeah, it's leaping to Scrafty. Yeah. So nothing wants to take an ice beam. Yeah, and then he's just right him for free. 
Man, you imagine Does he make the call and go for a luring voice on the Scrafty pivot, though? Because Scrafty is like a decent pivot to this guy just naturally. There's nothing I want to take this ice beam. Not even probably tilt because I can just freeze drag next turn. Yeah. And killing the range will be great because it means I don't have to entirely rely on Gold Duck for the Flotto. Also, you can get the Snorlax. True. Okay. It goes Battle. Who is Battle? The Scrafty. He's not going to hit hard. And he's not going to either. Jesus! 40%. Pretty, pretty I mean, he's definitely going to tear a steal here. Uh, steal from this guy now? But it's not going to go into anything else. Yeah, you don't really have a pivot yeah, into Scrafty. That's another thing, dude. Scrafty soul stabs are so nasty low tier. They're so nasty low tier, especially when you can Terra, man. Especially when you can Terra. I guess I just go Psychic Duck after that. Oh, actually, really quick while we're watching, I need a ping mods and thing to do. Transactions to leave on the main dock. I can go to Karyu and... If he doesn't set up, I can just go to Karyu. Sorry, I'm just going to stay in attack. And I'm not going to Again, Terra is the freest thing for him to do this. No coverage I get as a Glitchion. Transactions. I'm not going to turn to a guest, but I didn't expect it to be a hard game. Let's be steal. Indeed, steal. There we go. Yeah, he's going to Terra Steel. I think how he's like confused. He's like, this should be Terra Steel. It better be, or you're about to get forfeit. It still hurts. This is a lot. He goes for knockoff, that's perfect. Knockoff, knocks up, never melt ice. He's not going to do much damage now from here. We are killing the one normal resist of his team. I guess if it's like rest crafty, this would be bad, but I guess mm -hmm. I can just go Lucario afterwards. Yeah, I, I guess his, his idea is just keep this thing low, get into Lucario, pick a KO. I don't care right. if you resist the move, that doesn't mean I cannot do damage. I that's so valid. With this right now. I don't like my Twiki at this range, actually, because I lost my Never Melt Ice. No. But should I do next? Unless he's trying to Oh, shit. I mean, he's rest. He's like rest plus, uh... Yeah, I mean, when you don't see Intim too, like the... something I also want to mention, dude, look how big this fucking axe on his head is. It is way too big, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's just skin. It's like, what? It's like stab plus rest dog. Dude. It's like stab plus rest dog. I don't do really anything. No 40 or risk. Holy I shit. Stay, it's, on. it's so big. Yeah, I gotta just stay there at this point. I did my damage as I could. I think he's just trying to whittle this down and then sack this off. It's tough though, because this thing's so good, but I guess rocks are up, right? You lost your nerf melt ice. This thing tears steeled, so it's not as scary. We did not, he wasn't just he wasn't. Yeah, so he wasn't gonna shed skin. So now next time you know that at bare minimum. I decided. You at least know that at bare minimum. To where next time when he rests, if we don't see a shed skin, we can get hard Luke and just smoke something. Like super smoke something. So Gold goes in. We reveal the claw nine. Woke up. That's good. I have Encore. That's there good. you That's go, good. Amo. That's perfect. And there there you go, dude. Either. Defensive duck. I feel like this guy would have gotten thumbed out oh, if choice Ben Reggie Gigas didn't come and probably pop Encore. off. He just needs to eliminate this thing, and like, there's no normal resist oh, on this God. fucking team, <laughs> man. So he gets the plus two. You know something I just realized I too? Think, I mean, I could stay with Gold Duck and just knock him. I could just If Deary decided to bring neutralizing gas, like he could never use bad. it to pivot into he Choice Band Gigas. Because he would just, he just eliminate the ability. Next. Right? If you like say he brought it for Serp, which is a great Serp check. Um he would have just gotten rid of the ability and then gotten nuked and probably died to fucking Choice Band Terra Normal. That's actually crazy. Prince Navi. There you go. And he flip turns now. back to Amo. I can go superior now. Yeah, go and Sir puts on a lot of pressure. Oh, I go Reggie Gigas, and I put. No, I gotta wait. I'm gonna go superior. Mm -hmm. That should force in our. Uh, if we go Sir, he can, he can go Vicavolt. If I go Yu, he can just go Safi again. Mm -hmm. I guess it's superior. Can I try to brute force my way through uh, Vicavolt? I think you can. Or I go, or, I go, uh, Arbolo. No, not Is it gonna be. I feel like I'm it's sir. fine if he goes Vicavolt, right? Because he's still gonna take a fat Leaf Storm to the face. Nothing doesn't have roost anymore. Right, now, so not go for it. right? Crazy synergy. Yeah, yeah they're, they're still working together even on opposite teams, yeah? That's yeah, just hella funny. Eh. Yeah, you just, you just leave Storm for free yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, you just whittle funny. down the checks. It's, it's the whole thing with Serp, right? No coverage, not strong, but like, if you're consistently peppering yeah, shit with Leaf Storms, oh yeah, you for sure smoke through this thing. Yeah. Dude, 100%. 100% D-Ray. Or, um, yeah. I'm just gonna brute force my witch's crafty. That's what Superior can do. Yeah, 100. percent And now he's in a tough spot trying to go into the Vika Vault from here, right? Like he's in a really tough spot into that thing. Now, if you go Vika Vault, you might get two a KO'd. Yeah, and this thing's two a KO'd for sure. You're gonna get the plus six. Ah, it's not gonna do enough. You're still gonna get two a KO'd, man. Like this. Yeah, dude. Now you're fucking plus six.
I think that might put him in range of float. You want to keep your scrap? You're gonna have to stack something else. Mm -hmm. fine with me. And that super super helps out the rest of the game. One hundred percent. I think the play was Vikavol, not only because it could actually like threaten this thing one v one, but also didn't have switch ins. I think Vikavol's much better positioning in that instance. Yeah, he's already thinking what to what to do with killing scrap would be amazing because that'll be the ice with the ice and the numbers is dead. But I'll take anything that he offers me as a, as a KO as, as long as I yeah. I think the ice is tough though. Like I mean, like the ice doesn't matter as much. Yeah, dude. There's Sir brute force in his way through checks again. I really do think though that it was probably his play to just pivot out through. Um, I was so right. I'm a picking up gold. What do you call it? I really do think it was his play to pivot out through. Um, speaking of the duck, on my blanket. Here he comes. Yeah, out comes duck. You don't have to risk this thing. This thing can super smoke later again too. And wait for us. If it's flipped, it's be I do like the, the I do like this positioning though, like getting in the float soul. You're gonna click a button. But yeah, killing Scrappy is so good with Leon and. He just wasn't prepared for the fish death Golduck, man. Goal is not to kill everything; it's just to get one big. He simply was not prepared for the fish death Golduck. Let's see. We're gonna pick it out. Because obviously I should be slower. Then I switch him float soul. Here comes the Golduck. Oh, psychic duck. That's fine. Did you get two gear from here? I took him two rocks. Ice spinner. Oh, it's gonna do nothing. Does nothing. Dude. God, Golduck. Now you get a slow flip turn out. Now. Nope. I'm clicking the flip turn button again. Yeah. Dude, the Golduck's going crazy. I understand the Gigas is going to get the Thunder. He must do something cool later. Dude, Golduck is going crazy. He's doing so well here. Just shutting down this rain aspect of D-Ray's build. Absolutely shutting it down. Also, I bait damn choice on Superior, like the name suggests, because I only collect the Storm. He stay as well, so I get more chip. Half, which is good. Okay. I'm not going to any of my grass types. I'm probably going to look Just double. Well. Check. I mean, I know I can count, but it's too laggy for me to count. And besides, I don't know if I'm going to get any more chips anyway. So I might as well do it now and confirm everything. By going pretty dry. Same thing. I, I, no, I try to do cardio. And it's with an ESP. Okay, there we go. I have Dunfan, so I better study with Dunfan, which is great. Which will be great, actually. I'll go Lucian. Screw it. I know I should be Kalking, but screw it. I'm just that guy. I he just decided he's banded. He, he said, I know he's banded. I know he's banded. If he was banded, I'm pretty sure he could have wave crashed and killed the shit out of that uh, Serp from there. I don't care. The Serp that hurt. The Punisher got over. Perfect. Ice Beam is my strongest move. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of damage to Tiana. Dude, and he called the guard pivot on the Ice Beam. And it was just him. Simply. Ice Beam into Ice Beam to it. Ice Beam into Ice Beam into Ice Shard. Yeah. To get more chip Lucario, I think I just Lucario. Oh, you can just Ice Shard, right? I, approve. I think Ice Shard's viol valid. More chip. Moonblast, that should kill me. Alright, sorry, Glacial, you go down, but you did get some strong Ice Beam nonetheless. Yeah. And to that, I salute you. Rain's gonna I stop, so now we have to reset to Rain. Rock, Do I go Arbolava to get the terrain up now because I have to spend death for it? That doesn't invite uh, Vicka Vault, I'm slower than it, I don't want that. Mm hmm. See, and something I think that's I mean, important, like you guys watching, Amo always that's brings that's wacky that's shit that's and, that's like, Funny sets and fish stuff, gold luck and stuff like and that. Choice ban Reggie, he but he's a genuinely good player. And if you listen to him talk about like yeah, his positioning and I do I go into this to get my uh, my rain up? Ah, no, that invites him this later and invites him this later, and that puts me in a tough spot. He's thinking ahead and he's really thinking about his positioning well. And I think that's something that's like a lot of people kind of struggle with. Yeah, you just use speed. Yeah, I could have. That's fine. I don't lose a lot. And we're gone. I think that's a big level. Okay, never mind. You just charge this thing, right? Okay, that, oh, this, that thing dies. Nice. I, I think it's worth to go for it. But is it worth losing Lucario? It's worth. It's worth it. Yeah. Lucario, don't disappoint me. Do not disappoint me. Just Lucario. got here what games. If you watch, we have only watched. Um, what did we watch? We watched Keegan Viz, and now we're watching Amel D Ray. So it's only our second game. Only our second one. I think you got a little gift, you too, there, Thomas. That's crazy. Not you just got here. Does it just Lucario. give it to random people? That's wild. Because I saw you kiss the gift. I didn't know if you were like lurking in the back. Wait, you just don't. This thing dies. This thing's super dice. And then your Luke is again in a position where next time it comes in, it close combats and something dies. Like, very, very simple. Come on, Lucario! <sighs> Come on! See, that's, that's a brutal one. That sucks, man. Take that is a now. brutal one. I cannot lie to you. That is a brutal one. Uh, very, very on, rough Lucario. one there. You really did this to me? You're, you should be thankful that I gave you specific weapons. You were, you were going to look so right otherwise. I mean, I'm going to keep you alive. I'm going to go Arbolava now. Yeah, 100%.
You're setting up the train for yourself too, which is nice. It's also gonna make your leash charms really strong. And at the very least, the Vigil took the E speed for like 30%. If terrain is up, I'm pretty sure Lee Storm and Lee Storm kills. And then Cert might just win. That's crazy that Thomas gets an instant gift for Hunky didn't. That is, that is low-key true. Poor fucking Hunky, man. What a rough one for our, uh, for our hero. See so okay. So we could go for Ice again now. Oh, we don't we don't get to keep up our terrain, yeah. Just pivot gold. I turned it up super loud in my ear. That was terrible. That should be another ice spinner, hopefully. Good ice spinner, my DRA, by the way. He doubles out. Is it like the Vika Volt? It's Vika Volt. Okay, DRA. Do you make it some shmoney moves? Big, bigly. I guess that's gonna allow me to just flip turn into my. Uh, it's gift based on overall activity and streams because yeah, I've been like, here. Um, before it could be why. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> you flip turn. Okay. And hopefully I get the terrain. And after this I go already against if he stays. Things like that. Okay. Okay. Is he gonna kill? He will switch out. Because of course he does. Does okay. See how it goes up. No way he goes fan, right? He can't go fan when he's being faster, right? How fast is our ball of him? Yeah, I didn't go, uh... Oh, it's gonna come out. Okay. I'm gonna click Giga Drain in case I somehow don't... I'm gonna click actually Encore. If he's set up. Good idea. Yeah. Actually, that makes sense. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I could go Lucario, but I don't think I want to. I'm just gonna go Regigigas now. And just get the kills I need with Regigigas. The terrain is up. I might as well so I can get some recovery. Yeah. We're gonna take this hit this like very easily, which is nice. We're gonna double edge. But I'm choice with Terra Normal using a strong stab move. It's not gonna be passive. It's not gonna be one kill machine, but it's not gonna be passive. Mm -hmm. And you could also think of me just trying to start. I mean, I'm pretty sure those two kills everything, right? I see him saying like I understand the slow start, but still Terra Normal choice band double edge. Like it's still gonna do a lot of damage, especially if you just don't have an armor. Just he's gonna save this thing. Sucks a bit that he has terrain recovery himself as well, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So, Regigigas, Terra still has to do the normal type. Does this do a Gyo fan? I feel like it does. And go for one big, mean double edge. See? Close man, double edge. Big dog. Damage. Close. He's not helmet perfect. He is faster, but I don't care. He is leftovers, damn it. I mean, dude, this is fine, though. Take your damage. That's fine. I can just double edge again. Take your damage and win with Lucario. That, that's a dumb Take your damage, damage and win with Lucario. Right? That with, that's uh, it. Freaking slow start. If I can somehow get five double edge and just stall out, slow start, that'll be, that'll be questionable. That'll be, that'll be something you, you, you blink DX. Terra Normal Regigigas coat, that's what I'm saying. It would be great if he doesn't go for spinner, for getting that. Like, if he somehow has Earthquake, that'll be amazing because I just have damage in terrain. Yeah. If it's knockout, it's gonna be a little bit sucky because I lose my band for damage. If it's Ice Spinner, then you remove Yeah, I feel like you just take your damage, though, dude. Just chip this thing down. He spinners is not gonna do anything. Okay, we double edge. There's a nice little two kill. Amazing for Lucario too. Like we're so close to Lucario yeah. winning as long as I just don't miss another stone edge again. Because remember, I, should, I could have just landed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Luke literally wins from here if it's stone edge on the oh, the Viking wall. Like I'm pretty sure it literally wins the game. It it's Pokemon. I know it's not really well, but you said a while ago doing some custom stuff for I season three OGDL. What did you mean by that? Yes. I'm like, no, you're right. Um, eventually when I want to do OGDL season three, I want to make my own custom drafting meta. With uh, Mr. Keegan in chat. We're gonna hopefully get some streams going. I think this is like a summer project, something we'll do on stream during the summertime when I'm not streaming as many things. There's no EQ. Okay. Um, but I wanna kind of like create the ideal draft league format. Limited decks, but balance it myself, kind of. Um, I think it'll be a fun project and it'll probably be OGDL season three's format, and we'll probably have three um, divisions this time. But that'll be great for the, for the not the not the amount of time not yeah, the amount we have last time because uh, that's what uh, led to me despising OGDL for a little bit there. Oh no! 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 I am faster! He was scrap! I have no even any speed. I mean, I'll take the free kill on this Gardevoir. I'll take it. So, <laughs> D-Ray didn't notice at the time. <laughs> I, I, did, I blocked this out from my memory. Trace Gardevoir, incredible ability. But we have to know what it does, you know? <laughs> and sometimes there are bad abilities, right? 
I want to get this, uh... I want to get into this kind of low-tier draft from OGL Wi-Fi season per chance. No fucking shot. Thanks, Licky. I mean, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no freaking shot. Uh, I know where the redhead is up shot, but final stream win. Eventually, I need to announce the winners and get them their roles and stuff like that, too. Um, we'll do that soon. I'll do that soon. I think uh, Pokemon Apart is just going to keep his grand champion role because we had multiple formats, so we can't do a tournament like we did season one. Um... But yeah, but like Radical Red, different moves and type. No, not not like Radical Red. Like what Pokemon are taking everything humanly possible available to us in a nat deck setting, I guess, because it'd be on Showdown. Um, and then from there, deciding what we want the top end of the board to look like, deciding what the middle of the board, the bottom end of the board, and kind of like creating our own region, the OGDL region, like Palvia, things like that with a limited decks, but a decks that is specifically built for draft. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, to your right side. I was like, please don't. Yeah, he didn't notice, and he thought it was because he, he saw banned yeah, yeah, damage, he did, he did, he did. and then was like, um, <laughs> I just I just saw speed and revenge, <laughs> and then I have no even speed. As a, as a... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll take the free channel. And voice, don't look away from the <laughs> screen when you're selecting a move. It. Yeah, <laughs> or unfortunately, don't go into Gardevoir and Mons uh, that have bad abilities <laughs> when you have Trace. So Dear just didn't notice, and then he got very confused. I was really hoping Amos Thumbnail. Would oh, be right. like they're Gigas holding this. a band and a scarf because of what d was young or d thumbnail was going to be that. Oh, I told man, Kurt to do it, but he didn't do it. But yeah, it's a very tough one. Yeah, yeah Floatzel's just going to... Yeah, you just hack this. Right? I mean, Floatzel doesn't do anything, right? This can... I mean, Gigas dies to rocks, but there'll be at least a different death bottle for... uh. No, I guess I just stay... And I think you sack this. Advice, don't look away from the screen, ever. Yeah. Now, I'm not in the OGDL. Where can yeah, I get in the server? So, um, I'll let him go, I'll let go down. the OGDL was the draft league that we've run two seasons of um, out of uh, my server. Um, if you want to join the server in general, Dragon's Den, it's in the description. So you can just go down there, click on it, and join. Uh, it should be in the description right down here. Probably below all of the hmm. OTM stuff, but yeah. Is it choice, Dan, if you went for Jet? I think Will I'll the quantity of Pokemon back? be the same as Paldea DLC 2? I'm thinking so, so yes. I'm not 100% sure. It kind of depends, but probably. Um, if I had to assume. Maybe a little bit less because I would everything in the decks, you know, per chance, would be something that's allowed in the format. So it might not be that many because it's damn near nat decks, but... Yeah. I'm going to base on the fact that he's choice lock right now, and even if he isn't, I am max speed. And, and then in future so in future seasons we can adjust the tier list and adjust the mons allowed and kind of and do things like that. I think it'll be fun. Make our own like make the ideal draft league format, you know? Because everybody has their gripes about ex you know regional decks and things like that. Like uh Peldia and um, Galar in particular, you know, they all have their problems. I guess there's a part we also just sack Plato right now to get the rain. I think I'll walk around OG off and get revenge uh, get a championship in my second league. True. And there will definitely be another season eventually, probably not for a little bit though. I'd say maybe late summer would be the earliest I would do it. If not, fall time next year. And this thing's just going to get to a count, yeah? All right, we pray it's not cost up and we go for Giga Drain. I believe Giga Drain kills at this range. Yeah. Actually, was I like 40? Is it even worth? Do you want to not kill this thing? I mean, I don't think it matters. I think you still win with Luke no matter what. Do I risk me not killing with Giga Drain? You're also bluffing Scarf right now, by the way. Don't, don't speak into, don't speak nonsense single. Screw it, just because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, especially with the, he was Terrain Extender on his Arbeliva. Is that Vika Volt? If he goes Polytoad, I can just Sunny Day. No, it's not even, it's not even needed. If he goes Polytoad, it's just Giga Drain. Yeah. If he goes Polytoad, it's just Giga Drain. Giga Drain. No reason not to. He goes Weasley. Okay, you know what? We're gonna confirm if you're, in fact, not faster. But I am max speed on Serp. It's not like I need Serp anything after, for anything after this. Actually, no, should I go? Golduck now, he said? It, just to confirm he's not knock max speed, because then I go Golduck, I get Helmet, then he's forced to go... Hmm. Because he's gonna take Helmet. Yeah, I think Golduck's your best play. I think Golduck's your best play, right? Because if for some reason you don't kill Politoed with your, um... What do you call it? Uh, close Combat from Lucario, it gives you still Serp to potentially win the game afterwards. So I think Golduck is the play. Or stay. Okay, about that, yeah. No, definitely a really cool tech. With uh, seeds over. He's still timid, like not invested, but yeah. I think I'll do this. It's not like I'm gonna kill with Golduck anyway. Yeah, I gotta get drain. Okay, he bought him five max speed, but his way crash. We kill. Damn, he kills! Yeah. 
Okay, no, that's bad. I should my gold dog. I should my gold dog. He wasn't five max max. He isn't five max max. Okay. I go to Lucario and I click E speed. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I, I think it's speed. still. I think it's still checkmate, to be fair. Than, uh, I think it's still checkmate. Well. I think even if Polito doesn't die to CC, well. it probably dies to knock off, right? Uh, I just went, I just, I just went, uh, I just went Yeah, I think you're fine. That he was gonna be faster if he just That's a big miss on my part. That's such a big miss on my part. I think you're still fine well, though. You know, he was in fact banded. He was in for way crash and killed me. I need my okay. Palafin in the OGDL region. We we will see if Palafin is in the OGDL I mean, so region. Killed him, but <laughs> we will see. I don't know. I get the damage on on Polly, which is great. We know he's no helmet either. And depending on the damage I do with E speed, I can I maybe kill him with uh, close combat. I'm 99%. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think it might have killed from full, dude. This is still a Politoed. He's a cute guy, but he's not very good. We are never going to pretend that Politoed is a good Pokemon. As much as I really like him and wish he was good. He's very, very bad. And Dur will be the very bad thing for him to be. Or Max Peter. Perfect. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, that's game, that's game. Uh, Lucario survived life 4, and I yep. took E-Speed on Plotol. Plotol has yep. priority to beat uh, Lucario with. That's it. Well, oh, I don't know if you remember what you have but I asked you if I wanted to pick up a VC, and you said back on, he's been putting on works. Thank you for the recommendation. Always listen to it. I'm saying, hey, someone, uh, what do you call it, Rising, commented on our finals video? Yeah, this game's that's over. It. That's game. Big win for Amo. Let's go. Big gig is going crazy. Um, And slow start Gardevoir, not going crazy. I still can't stop edging boss. All right, man. <laughs> um, but what do you call it? Rising mentioned it on our finals video. He said, hey, Magmar didn't come. So Magmar was still undefeated. Magmar never lost a game for me. That's all I'm saying. Magmar never lost a game for us. Ever. Which is pretty based. All right. Let's go ahead. Bam. All right. We have Hunky versus Thomas here. We have Hydrapple, AV Hydrapple, Max Spadef. Look at the coverage this thing has. Why does this guy get Hydro Pump? The fuck, man? Um, Fickle Beam, Energy Ball, Hydro Pump, Earth Power. Yeah, Specs Alecky. Rapid Spin, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Terra Blast, Terra Blast, probably just neutrally to hit. Muzzle, he cannot be Terra. I mean, obviously, he's Terra Electric, so he's not trying to do that. We only got double specs with a really, really bulky Volcanion. Um, Volcanion goes crazy here, right? You catch that tentacle once with an Earth Power, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of over for it, right? And just like Steam Eruption catching a burn on it is really, really nice. Focus Blast is nice for Porygon. Definitely really solid. You gotta be careful about it absorbing water absorb. So like, it's a little bit tough to lock, but it's still good here nonetheless. Um, we also have protect player off body press, yawn. Just protect, uh, two attacks with yawn. I like that. Um, especially if you're not really passing good wishes into anything. Um, you have regen on this guy. Yeah. No, I think that's valid. Its HP stat is so low, right? Um, then we have, oh no, I need to see the, I need to see the dude. Where is he? And there's Braviary. Kind of skip past that. This is Terra flying in this game with Tinted Lens. Ooh, it's an Agility set. Agility, Terra Blast, Psychic Noise, and Roosh. Really, really offensive win condition set. Does really well here, though. I mean, like, especially if you trip down that Bronze Song just a little bit. Isn't Porygon 2 really bad in Gen 9? I am a big Porygon 2 hater. Don't worry. I've let Thomas and the entire league know that I think Porygon 2 is very, very ass. Um, but it does check Volcanion well, um, unless you have that Focus Blast. So... Or you're like an ID, or you're just like an uh, body press set. Uh, then we have a fake out knockoff triple axle taunt ambipom set. We are mono, uh, mono fake out is our normal move, but we are silk scar, so maybe that technician fake out is just doing a shit ton of damage. Um, triple axle is really strong on the team, though. Uh, this thing is super, super stuffed by Tauros, though, so that's something to keep in mind. Like, it's very, very stuffed by Tauros. Um, Thomas isn't immediately going to know that, and he's gonna have to be careful if he wants to take chip on it. Um, Depending, but I mean, if Taurus comes into this team, I'm not sure what Taurus checks other than Ambipom. It's good offensively, but I'm not sure what it checks other than the Ambipom, so. I feel like he can pretty freely go into it. So, yeah, that being said, we see Thomas. Thomas is rocking out with, um, we don't know what Terra on the Toxtricity, but Terra Toxtricity. Um, and once a Terra's out of a typing that was just flying, this guy is really strong, um, especially. Bronzong is going to be the main stopgap, in my opinion. Bronzong and P2, if those guys can get chipped, um, what do you call it? Don't worry, my P2 will prove itself this season. That is to be seen, buddy. That guy is terrible. Um, Jugu is always going to be really strong. I think that one's broken. Um, I can't remember if this is Spadef on the Daoshban. No, nah, it's Fizdef. So, like, Jugu is going to 2 kill like, everything on this team. 
Chugu is so strong here. Oh my goodness. He just needs to position it well. It's kind of hard to get it a position in. Uh, Mudgel gets added value just because there's a lucky here. He needs to be careful of it. Um, but Physis will also check uh, Ambipom to an extent. So something else to keep in mind, obviously. Um, Anything else? No? <sighs> Rocks in the game. Mudgel, Bronzong. Um... And then nothing on Hunky's side. So Thomas also does not have to worry about rocks, which is huge with your Jugu if you're not boots. Right? Thomas team looks like something Matt O'Shea would have drafted in a normal <laughs> This is a very Matt O'Shea-pilled team. That is a that is great knowledge, uh, draft league knowledge from you, uh, Mr. Cat. Look, I can tell you've been watching for a minute. I can say Terrace since Hunky knows in game two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's normal, right? I, I, like, I'm pretty sure it's normal here, which also looks really strong. Um... But yeah, that is, this is a very Mattershade held team. If Mattershade was playing low tier, this is what he would draft. Or if he was playing standard, he'd draft this plus like two better Pokemon that aren't here. But like, very that's a that's a that's a great compliment to Mr. Thomas. Matt is the goat. All right, he's taking while he's thinking what to lead with. All right, I didn't see what we led with. I think it was Ambipom. Usually with these Ambipom sets, you're usually ending up leading them and stuff like that. Oh, let me uh let me link Hunkies. Please go check out Hunky if you haven't done so already. He makes great content, great player, great guy. I would appreciate it if you went and checked him out, showed him some love, all that fun stuff. Seems like the best right Yeah. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna fake out. Took this thing down. The issue with this thing is the fact that it is it U turn. Are you gonna kind of you know? Put Thomas or put um, this Ambi Palm in tough positions where it's gonna have to continuously hard out. Now I will say it does a great job whittling down Mudsdale if Thomas uses chooses to use Mudsdale to check it. So that's something to keep in mind. It really helps out a Lucky because a Lucky will super smoke as soon <laughs> as this Mudsdale dies. It takes a lot of damage from that fake out too, man. It's leftover, so you don't have to worry about helmet. This is all good stuff. I'll take it as a compliment. Yes, very much so a compliment. Dude, that is, that is my goat, Matt O'Shea. Just, it just looks like a team Matt would have drafted last gen. It hell looks like a team Matt would have drafted, or this gen if he was playing. I know you're standing on the fucking on tempo right now, folks. Sorry, I don't just kind of draft you two smart members, told you, but you don't subscribe to a lot of Matt YouTubers then. Gats. <laughs> you're gonna have to let them all know so they all give me money. Good rocks here from Thomas. Um, Dashboard comes out and it like forces a yawn on something, which is uh, really, really annoying. But it doesn't necessarily threaten this. Um, I think if rocks were up, we'd be in a phenomenal position right now, just spamming yawn, putting something to sleep, or just forcing a bunch of damage, right? Um, but we just don't have rocks, unfortunately. You would not stay in because it's just free damage with the because I don't think Dashboard can do much too much damage. So I'm getting the here. No, it definitely can't. It's probably going to EQ. Or if it's Heavy Slam, which you would have to be kind of careful of. Um, which definitely, yeah, I think would have to it KO based on that, being that it's a max base power move. Um, but it would have been able to take it, right? And then afterwards, you can kind of just spam Yawn until something goes to bed. Yeah, I, I like spamming Yawn until something goes to bed. I don't think you're ever in a position where you don't need to. Um, there isn't really anything that first pressures an Oko on this thing either, other than Tox. And if Tox comes in and takes a Yawn, tough spot. Pop rocks. There comes the tox. Okay. Now are you gonna be super ballsy and double yawn again? The only issue is there's no ha if there's just, if there was hazards up, we'd be forcing a ton of progress right now. How comes Hydrapple? Does this take two sludge wise? It might, dude. So I'm just gonna bring in my hydrapple. That would work. Uh, man, see, uh, I appreciate you dropping in, Frosty. Thank you so much for the um, gifties and your membership. I'll be sure to get you to roll in all that stuff and make sure you check out all the stuff, but yeah. See you, man. Uh, okay. Have a good one. Have a good uh, one. I know from experience how dangerous this toxicity can be. Because I got swept by it not too long ago. Yeah, we're gonna pivot out. Oh, comes there it's, that is. Okay. Huh. Well, the body's gonna come out. Which means now it's immune to fight. Dude, this Porygon has the ability to be immune to full king stabs at all times, which is really funny. Um, I think it's worth to just chip this thing a little bit, right? Again, you're really opening up the end game for your... Um, what do you call it? Your Esper Wing, dude. The Brave Fury? And Ice Beam isn't going to super threaten you. You're max for def AV. I feel like Ice Beam is... It's, it's also Trace, so it's not uh, analytic, right? Takes two sludge waves. I figured that guy's so fat. Uh, fun fact, I've been doing some calcs around that fella. <laughs> He's very fat. Um, for week three. Also takes two turn roll boomers. That's crazy. That guy just checks it so well. And it's going to do nothing. That's crazy. Porygon's very bad. 
Unfortunately, we didn't get the double power. Also, did nothing to Porygon. Super Spin F Porygon. So, I guess we're just we're having a mid off. Gang, we're having a mid off. Dude, I think Volcanium might be the pivot, right? I mean, but rocks are up and it's really obnoxious. <sighs> I don't know if I like this pivot, though. Yeah. Psychic Note is going to be nice for blocking that Vapo from uh, recovering later, which is cool. And 1v1 in that Bronzong, potentially. Nah, not if it's Gyro. Ice Beam Crit. Super Free Knock. Super Free Knock. Super Free Knock. You just got to knock here. You just got to knock here. I'm really to trade knock. Good. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna. It's it can't port. It can't toxic. It t wave you, I guess. But knocking this thing off seems invaluable. Knocking this thing off seems invaluable, man. Yeah, you get rid of this thing's item, or you get rid of Mudsail's leftovers. Whatever Tauros's item might be, like you're you're getting value out of this turn. Warheads. It is Tauros pivot. Int him. You knock. No more expert belt. Okay. Okay. I mean, you take on stabs really well, obviously. You're immune to fire. Um, you resist CC. I wonder if this thing is an Iron Head, though. D2 is very bad. Walls are high drapple for days. I told you, they're having a mid-off. Good Iron Head from Thomas. Very, very good Iron Head from Thomas. If you had the extra roll, they think you would have 2 killed there. So the knock ended up being very, very nice. Um, if I'm Thomas, I'm just Iron Heading here again, right? You can bait a flinch. Um... Or you force this thing to yawn, and then you get out, and it's super low, and it can't be the nuisance it wanted to be anymore. Good, good Iron Head from Thomas. Iron Head obviously would have killed the Ambi Bomb from there because it's an Ambi Bomb. It was at like thirty percent, so very free mid ground. Um, but good to recognize the play, anyways, right? Iron Head. No, there it is. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Um, I think it's always Thomas's play to go for it, right? And this thing just doesn't threaten him. It can yawn, but then it's two it KO'd um, slash super low. It, it can't be wish and yawn. And really be scary, so. Maybe I can go for. I can go to go for Dawn. Yeah, I think it's fine. If the storage goes down, so if you fan it, alright. Now it goes dash one. Yeah, that goes. Unfortunate, but. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. I'll be able to bring it in my own. Out comes this guy. I mean, this thing's going to be able to do a ton of damage or something, right? Terra Blast seems super, super free. Psychic Noise is also really, really fire. Um, yeah, in a good spot in general. That's for sure. This thing's really strong here. I think this is going to be your best way of breaking through. I think P2 was ass, but I always get cucked by it. I think P2... I was never a P2 fan in prior gens when it could Toxic and Port. Gen 8 was probably the best P2 will ever be. But now we're in a generation where P2 cannot Toxic, it cannot Port, and it has half of the recovers it used to have. P2 is a mod that uses all of its recovers <laughs> in Gen 8. So I personally, I think if it kept Port, it would still be used. Oh, we dodged. Look, there's a little bit of vengeance. There's a little bit of vengeance. Honestly, probably a more impactful, um, what do you call it, turn. Honestly, probably a more impactful turn than the, uh, the Yawn. Or the uh, Iron Head flinch, in my opinion. Because that dash one was pretty much dead after took that Iron Head anyways. I mean, like, obviously getting flinched is tough, um, but it was it was never protecting out of range of any attacks. That thing missing, like, I don't think Stone Edge killed. That shit would have done a lot of damage, though. Um, you gotta get out of here, right? In the Drapple? What's be P2 when you beat P1? Hey, P1 is one point, and he still checks Dragapult. I would draft regular Porygon before I drafted Porygon too. 100%. 100% meta. I'll draft regular Porygon before I drafted it. Terra Blast over Hurricane slash Air Slash because of Bramble. Oh shit, that's right. You're right. That's smart. I thought it was just because you didn't want to miss. That makes sense. Very, very smart, actually. Dude, I always forget about Windrider and stuff like that. I was watching Jacob's um, battle against me. Um, I was watching Jacob's battle. I mean, you just get back to full and regen. You, you got to pivot out here, I think. You're just not forcing any progress on this thing. Um... I was watching Jacob's battle against week one, and he was like, yeah, Torn is really good to me. I am absolutely convinced a physical set is coming, though, because otherwise, if it's like Hurricane or Bleak Wind and Heat Wave, it is walled by Bramble. And I was like, damn, or it is walled by Shiftry. I was like, damn, that's true. I looked at my moveset, and I was Nasty Plot, Hurricane, Heat Wave, and Dawn. I was super walled by that guy, but he did not show up, so we were fine. That was definitely, I definitely would use it as a Revenger to it, too. Definitely would use it as Revenger. I knew that it like it's a plus one attack on Windrider. I did not know that it was immune or whatever. I can only go for focus blast. Oh, that was tough. I like the focus blast here. What's the resist? This is probably one of the checks, right? Go for 
Um, I could totally see Thomas wanting to stay in Thunder with this thing. This thing's a huge threat. This thing's a huge threat. I'm sure this is one of the checks, you know? Bramble is the goat. Oh, it's a great mon. I really like Bramble. So we let him Focus Blast. It does 90%. We Eerie Impulse. Drop the special attack harshly. It do not matter. We just Focus Blast again, right? We got a hit. We just got a hit. If I'm Thomas, I'm playing for the miss, right? Or you keep this as a sack, I guess. But, I mean, you essentially kill this if it switches. Okay. We're going to pivot out. Out comes Pop Rocks. Focus Blast. I still lose a shit. That's minus two into a resist. I don't want this thing to consistently sell. Hmm. Do we really have to sacrifice you like yourself? I can't bring in anything else. This is looking like a good, very, very end game, actually. Yeah. But it depends if we could take out this. I think your lucky sack is fine. You can just spam Terra Blast, right? This toxic receipt. They're bringing you. Here's the thing. I made a bad pun. You shift gear. Uh, because P1 is first place, but picking regular Warrior is heat. Hey, either way, fuck Warrior too. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so we're gonna turn normal here. Boom burst. Good night. <laughs> yeah, I mean it makes sense. Boom burst was just sort non-existent at this point. I'm pretty sure after rocks, you might have gotten to a kill from specs. So I think it's a valid. Valid turn. Regen P2 for the win. No, that guy's ass. Regen tracing is nice, though. Regen is uh, regen tracing is nice. Um, keeps you a little bit healthier to where you can maybe get a recover off later. Which is cool. I like the Eerie Impulse Spring. It's really cool as well. Um, helps out with a uh, Calm Mind. What's his name? Really, really well, in my opinion. So. Dude, where's the cool? Where are the cool fickle beans? We want the cool one that goes. Bah! I think you. I think hard. Um, Volk is actually very valid. Okay. Dude, just click a button. Here. You just flame, right? Flame is gonna kill something. Losing lucky is kind of scuffed, though. I can't want. So it's just a lucky in case shift gear came out. That's valid. Um, I think your hydrapple would still be the check. I, I guess if you don't kill when it terrors, right, then you would probably want to go like he terror blast, put it in range of hydrapple, and then try and win. Um, but yeah. P2 does look like a mon that would have gotten regen. I think there's a lot of mons that look like they would have gotten regen. Swampert should have gotten regen. Retroactively give Swampert regen. Good double here. We're into a Pokemon that literally has no switchins. Good double by Thomas. I mean, there's there's nothing that we can do here. We gotta sack something. I think it's I think it might be this. I don't know. Um, I don't think anything could take a hurricane. Yeah. Who's left? Toros is down. I think rocks would have really helped out in this endgame. Good aggressive double by Thomas though. Finally getting this thing in, and it's gonna do crazy damage. Oh knock, okay. Alright, we actually got some real nice chip. You just flamethrower here. I'm gonna bring in And this thing's dead. Let's look for another flamethrower. Yeah. This thing's dead. I mean you got crazy damage on this thing, which is really, really nice. Jealous and should I got region? True, that's another one. New YouTube video, Pokemon that should have regenerator. Maybe a new YouTube short. That's triple axel too. Um, what's your face? What scale? It's not gonna do it. Oh. Wait, Thomas, do you not have a move to hit this? Thomas, are you still here? Were you not Dark Pulse? I just thought you just trying to guarantee put in range or something. We live at I just the first doc to an extent. Um, if you didn't have a move to kill it from half, but Jugo was so good offensively. What was I said here? I don't remember talking to you about that. Mm-hmm. You should go find there again. No reason not to. True to enter everyone. True. We see a Volt here. I was scarf and DP wasn't guaranteed killing. Uh, could you not tell it was Specs from before? Because if so, you could always just DP and then if it doesn't kill, you have a full chance slash a chance to kill. I figured the uh, the damage on P I figured the damage on P two would have like kind of indicated that. I think you have to go Amy Palm and knock off. Okay. I'm gonna use this opportunity. I think you have to go Amy Palm and knock off. 
Uh, there just isn't another play. Oh man, I forgot about regenerator. Oh, I thought I was saved from the thing. For that damn 4-gun 2, dude. 4-gun 2. This stuff. Okay. I think Mudscale is like a really obvious spring. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could Axel if it does enough, too. Mudsdale. There's Mudsdale. Okay, we're gonna taunt. I mean, maybe there's a position where, um, dude can win? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if you go hard into here. I think you either go Hydrapple or you just get your Axel chip. I can only go Triple Axel. Let me just try. I expect Flame would kill you. I mean, yeah, but it doesn't matter if it kills you. It 1v1s you anyways, right? Like, like, if it 1v1s you anyways, why wouldn't you just go for the kill chance? Slash put it in range or whatever you need to put it in range of. It seemed like you were kind of reserved to sacking it anyways. It's not like, uh, what do you call it, did anymore. Ouch! I was hoping that this thing would put it in range of, um, Esper Wing, but I do not think it does. Yeah, I thought it's like, if you're already reserved to sacking it because of knock, and you know it's specs, and you have multiple things outspeed it, why knock? That's, that's where I'm a little, little bit confused, a little bit confuzzled, some might say. Yeah, I don't think you have enough to win. I don't think you can go Hydrapple because then you're allowing the P2 to come and get regen and the game's over. Shit. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you can't go P2. Even like an admin stun edge. Shouldn't kill me here. So I'm just gonna go for agility. Okay. I think you just Psychic. Oh no, it's Psychic. No, it's not Esper Wing. Am I just banking? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much, but... Just like in theory. This isn't gonna kill from here unless you get a super crit. Just go for roost here. Oh no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. I learned this. Uh, I think on this exact stadium when I was playing Jack two seasons ago in BBR, and I tried to EQ a roosting terrifying roaring moon with my mudsdale, and it did not work that way. At this point. Body press, you are, you are uh, plus three body press. So this is 30.5. I think I just have to roost again. Honestly. Yeah. Roost. Max put FAV bronze on. Huge! Yeah. And it's still super healthy. Yeah, and if you're, as long as you're, um, yeah, gyro, you just blow it up. See, so yeah, you just spam. Oh. You're good. <sighs> oh, you just body press me. I have to go for roost again. Yeah, I mean, you might as well bait for a miss, too. Four stone edges in a row. Oh man. Alright, it might be over. Yeah, I think this guy just, uh, I mean, like, this doesn't win, but in general, Thomas wins. I'm just gonna go for a raw hydro. I'll just go for a ball. That's why I can switch out. <laughs> yeah, another stamina. Big body press. Big body press. It's like plus four. Yeah, you just put it out here. You can just save diff. I mean, you don't have to save diff, but like, why not save diff? I think Bronze Axe switches here, then, or they could just give me Mudscale. Look yeah. at the bravery. Hey, he's high up in the air, man. I mean, we just sack this thing off, and then we're just gonna get out into um, what do you call it? Yeah, I. It was tough. I think hazards were important here. Um, really willing down. I felt like Thomas just wasn't really being punished for his pivots. I mean, it doesn't matter. And that's the game. Well, Ooh, I spin. I forget. I always forget he gets uh, that. I could play that better maybe if I like actually get some damage. Yeah. I had Psycho Noise plus Ice Spinner, so I could always beat it 1v1. Oh yeah, Psycho Noise stops her from being able to roast, and then you Ice Spinner. Psycho Noise, I wish it lasted longer. <laughs> I really wish it lasted longer. Alright, on to the next one. We need to get through these. Still four games left. Jesus. Okay, let's go ahead and get to chat. Go check out Oboski. We're watching his side. Him versus Panther. I actually have seen none of this game. Oh, he has no team builder. We are here with our battle for week one of the LTM versus Panther. We oh, he shit says draft analysis, by the way. The I mean, did he do like a separate team builder video? No. Maybe he was planning it? With our battle for week one of the LTM right. We're gonna watch these on two times speed now. Yeah, dude, Panther's the GOAT. 
Um, we're gonna watch Panther next week. But Panther, I said it in my BBR game against him. Week seven. Also, you can see he went like full hyper offense here. Holy shit. Um, lots of setup. I wonder what Terra type he is. I wish we had a team builder. Um, but what do you call it? Panther is the guy who got me into uploading in Gen 7. Because I was playing a lot of the APA showdown leagues. And he was like, hey, man, you ever like want to make content? And I was like, yeah, I don't really know how to start. And then Panther um, said, hey, I will record for you. I'll try and get you a spot in APA Academy, which is APA's D League for Wi-Fi at the time. He got me a replacement spot that season. I uploaded an NCP Season 1. It's like my first league on my own. He's like, just build up a... Build up a repertoire, a, a portfolio of uploads, and I'll get you in. And then you got me into that. And then you got me into APA, like the actual APA, and the beginning of Generation Eight. And it was it was history from there. Going into that league, I was like a hundred subs. So it took me like a year plus to get to a hundred subs. By the way, so if anybody is thinking about making content, they're like I just don't gain any traction. It takes a while, but it's worth the grind. It's it's super fun. So, we don't get okay with anyone Noivern. And we're immediately going to first light clay, which is huge, because we immediately <laughs> sniff what he's going for. Like, we, we figure that shit out immediately, which is cool. Um, really, really good for Panther, actually. Dude, Draymond, the uh, fucking dude, is hilarious. Um, I like Volting out here. Wait, is he not dual screens? Is he not dual screens? Yeah, and if you've, if you've been on and you've clicked on Panther Chen, you've seen him. He's, he's a very old man. He's been around the scene for a minute. And Panther is like a pioneer in the draft league scene. He's been around for so long. So when he wanted to get back into uploading a BBR, I had to give him a spot. We're paying it forward. That's my goat. Okay. You don't really see. You don't have a great Neuvern switching. It's just Brian? Oh, what is this set? I missed the old Gio Bina. <laughs> Where am I? I don't agree with that. Hey, man, I was getting... Listen. The I don't agree with that. They were... Holy shit, they did a lot of damage, dog. <laughs> um, nah, I, the, the, the I don't agree with that went away because uh, I, I personally didn't want to deal with the draft league Twitter drama anymore, personally. Sometimes I still don't agree with that. Don't worry. If you're ever wondering what I don't agree with, you can hit me up in DMs, big dog. I think he's a little soft. Electro doesn't get dual screens? Really? Well, that's guy. That guy's ass. Okay, so we immediately pick this thing off, which is great. He's mono one screen HO, which is really interesting. Yeah, you go Enam, try and set up. Um, yeah, but do you want to take an offensive hurricane even if it's minus two? I, think go to I don't know if you do. At this point, um, we're probably gonna see a road of heat come out here. Just fine. I think I might make a double. We could also went through our iron forms there and just start breaking, but I really, really don't want to do that necessarily. So I think we're gonna just actually just quick sludge bomb. Depending on the spray, we should do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna quick sludge bomb here. What's oh, agility weakness policy? Interesting. We're gonna U-turn out. What are we expecting to come in here on this sludge bomb? What are we expecting to come in on a sludge bomb? Um, Interesting. There's really no. I mean, if it goes to ton, that'd be a crazy switch. Like power. I really think heat just comes in. I mean, it wouldn't be a crazy switch on Earth Power. You live one Earth Power and you can threaten this thing. Yeah. And resist Fairy? I mean, if you're going to predict, I think you probably predict the resist, right? Yeah, I like rocks. But, um, we set, so I, I like rocks a lot. I think you should just rocks up. T wave, interesting. I mean, you can rocks up here, right? This thing doesn't really immediately threaten you. Yeah, he's just gonna get up his rocks, right? No, he doesn't. Oh, pair is really, really big. Yeah, pair is really big for that Enam, though. Pair is really big for that Enam. Not really. And then go if he doesn't have switching, you should just. I know he has a uh, he has sinistra. I think you vault. I think he's gonna have sinistra now. You keep this thing healthy at the very least, so he can so pivot into Enam. I assume there might be a switch here. So no, he doesn't want to switch, which is fine. Um, Tinkton is down to about half now. We go Skeldurge. We could also go Enam, but we are going to get blown back. So I'm thinking we see a player come here. <laughs> I'm still dying about that. Where I missed the old old jail line. <laughs> hey, I will say, um, Bic, you've been around for a minute. My god. Oh no. Um, you've been around for a minute, my friend. 
I'm sure you remember it. You see, you see the character development? We've gotten into no beeps, spats, or had any videos dislike bombed in Generation uh, 9. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I used to get a little bit more tilted than we do now in games. That's for damn sure, dude. I think you slack, right? Because if Rookie comes out here and clicks Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball does 44 52, and I'm at 170. So it'd be a roll to kill me if he's not offensive. Um, so I think I might click slack off here. Yeah. I mean, like, you don't do any damage, right? I assume it's Rogue Um, But, yeah, so it's going to be Norvern. Okay. So let me we saw that Norvern was just. Um, probably boots in this I think Norvern's a good big ground pivot, too. With unaware, it isn't the best for us. So I think what I'm going to do here is go back to my Namorous. Um, we could definitely see. I think a hurricane comes out, right? You you can for sure risk a hurricane miss here. It's gonna two kill the shit out of an offensive enam if you're offensive, right? I don't know how how offensive the enam is, but if it's like no HP enam, I'm pretty sure that guy gets two kill after rocks very easy. It might even get two kill regularly. Oh, see, I, it's plays like this. Obo does this a lot where he doesn't really know what to do and he gets kind of put in an uncomfortable position. I remember P. Crottle. P. Crottle wasn't that long ago, to be fair. P. Crottle was like three months ago. <laughs> I remember the old custom shinies you do, dude. The custom shiny, custom shinies meta. The, the streets don't know about custom shinies meta in Gen Eight. I could still technically do that in Generation Nine. I just haven't ever done it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll commission some for a fun league. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I think the slack play there just like was it, it's really passive play, right? It, and and I think it comes from just like being frazzled, the lack of preparedness. So we hurricane here. Holy shit, that is a lot. Oh, that's that's tough for Panther. I mean that that would have just two it killed. I won't go from starting draft league was to play Owen. I beat him uh, by playing so unorthodox. He screams. I don't agree with that play. You would be a one, <laughs> one of many. I actually do think that just playing stupid is the greatest. Not that like you have to play bad to beat me. No, you can just outplay me. I'm not that good. But I think a very easy way to like beat me and get under my skin is just to do dumb nonsensical shit and then me just go <laughs> and scream about it. So what I'm gonna do here? We don't see a flame will come out. Um, we see an EQ, uh, right? There's no reason to keep this Pokemon alive. Um, this initiative is territory, like I said. Um, I think that Rogue like a nasty boss. He's keeping it in the back, and this is like a bandit. Um, I'm gonna try to just get a Port Song off. I'm just gonna try to get a Port Song off because if, EQ? Go, if he just kills me at that point, I just go. go laser I think you just EQ. Late chill of any depending on if he's burned or not. So I'm gonna click Port Song here. Who wants to go for? Um, Stone Edge. He's gonna hit. So he's Stone Edge. Okay. Oh! Wait, Stone Edge big ground. That's not, that makes sense. Hits this thing. Hits uh hits E M. So, delay dies. Seeking moment. See, <laughs> yeah, and, dude, I barely even remember that shit. I think it played like terrible last season. Banded Iron Bundle, got it, dude. Huge. Huge. We do love Banded Iron Bundle. He gets flip turn, that's momentum, and then you get really strong flip turns. And you can even go minus speed, so you get slow flip turn, good momentum. Yeah? Now there's a fine line, I'm not gonna do that. This thing just gets smoked, right? Even if a reflect goes up, this thing gets super smoked. So, I'm gonna click reflector. I should have anyone hit. Look at reflector. Um, or it takes 8 million. Right? No, this doesn't take 8 million. I actually have seen none of this game, by the way. This is a game that did not get streamed in the server, so I'm glad that we're watching this one. I think the last three I have seen, kind of. At least most of it. I don't remember seeing much of the next one after this, but. If that goes up, I mean, you're just gonna facade here, right? Lunge. Dude, it fucking killed. What is lunge? Dude, screw Megahorn. I'm never missing. Panther's crazy. He said I'm not missing a Megahorn in this game. Lunge is cool, though, too. I guess it, like... Is, it'll also slow down something like uh, Big Brian Hands here. Uh, big Or Big Brian Thorns here. Sorry, Brian Hands is, is better. But Brian Thorns here from uh, being able to... Because even if you go around, you bring a big damage off. So I should live in with what do you call it? Dude, you're not gonna get big damage off on Rota, man. You, you don't stand. Yeah, the screens are up. This thing's gonna come in. You still don't see boots. It's gonna be some weakness policy shit. Yeah. There we go. If you have Thunder Wave, I think you Thunder Wave here. I think you Thunder Wave here. So if he's max special attack, so we're gonna find out what he is. I'm clicking Sludge Bomb. He's nasty. Ball, he nasty plots here. Because he outspeeds me, and that's fine. So I'm clicking Sludge Bomb. I mean, yeah, if you're Oboe, you go for it right now, okay. right? Because you'll hit this and then minus two overheat. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, what do you call it? Weakness policy scout. Very good weakness policy scout. And obviously, like us watching hindsight, it makes sense. We know that he's gonna be weakness policy or some shit. But like, 
when you're in that in-game position, you see big damage, you want to click it, you know? Uh, also, if he's mono Volt Switch, it makes it a little bit easier to not do so, because you might not want to Volt Switch out and take a big hit on something, but... Yeah. I think you're good. I mean, what's he going to Willis you on your Dragon Dance? I feel like you can... Go I guess it depends on the Thorn uh, typing, right? I have no idea what the Thorn typing is. We'll see. We'll see what he decides to go into here. He goes into submission now. So should I go Iron Thorns and Dragon Dance? Or should I go Gallade? Is the question. I don't think Iron Thorns can beat it. Play. Doesn't take an er, play doesn't I don't think any of these Pokemon can beat it. Thorns, and I and hope you will us. I think that's the yeah, well, it doesn't get Wisp. It doesn't get Wisp. It doesn't get Wisp. It doesn't get Wisp. Yeah, it doesn't get Wisp. Like, at all. What's a Terra type? I didn't see. I'm blind. I don't know if we can. I really position myself well at all. So, um... Dude, everything's fucking status. We could also. I don't think we can just stone edge. Depending on his, yeah, if he's really no. we can't just stone edge. I mean, like, he can just Macha Gotcha uh, spam strength sap. Tear Dragon. Oh, okay. I mean, like, this is good defensively, right? You burn it once and you burn it again, though. Like, I don't know. Sinister's fat, man. I also don't know the Sinister's Terra type. I think I just want to go away. So, we will see, though. We will see. Because Hair Cross is also pretty low in Dive Tone. I mean, unfortunately, I have not been told any of this uh, pertinent information. Enough recoil or lifeful damage. <laughs> but we will see what you guys go for here. We can strengths up here. That is, I think it still works and lowers our attack, even if he isn't. Um, so, Winter Dragon. We're going to Dragon Dance. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so if you guys are in the Discord server. I, dude, I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot. It's fucking Kurt's birthday today. At everyone. Kurt. At Kurpy. B day. Packs in in hashtag pack right fucking now. All right, after that, everybody, it's Kurt's birthday, so go put pack in pack chat or tell Kurt happy birthday. Go tell Kurt happy birthday. Um, All right, so we DD up. I think what we do here is we just spam DD. I think we just spam DD. I mean, this isn't gonna do anything, right? I think that's our only play. I, I've been saying this so. Probably should just delay. Prince Sap is just such a stupid broken move. Um, in this mm -hmm. instance, I think it's gonna be stupidly broken because it just you're seeing what it's gonna do. It's gonna wall me. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it might be stupid, but I mean, we'll see if Sinister just beats us. Not really. <laughs> I don't know if it's stupidly broken. I just think you're not prepared. Um, or like this guy isn't supposed to beat this guy. So he's gonna call mine now. Okay. Plus one. Plus one's the death. The Arc Arch Dragon. He's there. Dark. You let anyone hit. I think now he's Stone Edge. I think he's also just going to click. I think you just you have to go for a crit. He's gonna strength sap. You can just strength sap pretty easily here. So I think I just DD again. So I stay at plus one. Okay, but what do you get from that? Yeah, I'm playing so poorly here recently. Um, we should see strength though. Yeah, I don't know how to beat this Pokemon. It should be think. I'm just keep it here. Yeah, he has the team. Yeah, I mean, I he's just gonna, team. yeah. Um, I'm more feeling it. Once he clicks, if he's super offensive, he lives this regard. He lives any hit, so I don't know how to win this. Uh, That's what I mean. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what we're really. I'm just kind of skipping past this. He's gonna tear dark just for fun. Oh, he gets a crit. Oh, no. Oh, okay, don't have crit. Too much damage. Um, so I could click DD, but I'm gonna click Stone Edge. He switches. Okay, so he's gonna switch. Okay, do we have priority? He's gonna sack it and then go into his crawl in the game, I think. Um, so, I was gonna go. I think annoying that's it. So, I'm at six. Oh, yeah, he has, he has Aqua Jet. So, you just need to get off any damage possible. Okay. His quick punch. Hoping. No Aqua Jet comes out. We can see a Focus Ash. Dude, big crawl Donsky. I'm gonna see Focus Ash DD. Yeah, there's Aqua Jet. That crit sucks. That crit sucks. I don't know if I beat the Sinistra. No, you didn't. I don't think you did. I think you just sped up the inevitable or, like, took away your chance to crit. Bron Bron. Um, also, we see Aqua Jet live. Okay, we live. We'll see if he sash. Okay, so this dies. That crit really puts in a bad spot, but like, they're, they're, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it super mattered. Especially because like this thing could never find a, a position to agility. Yeah, this guy's gonna kill. That's Raskis. Yeah, I think just like, I don't know, does does Brian Han or Brian Thorns does he get Swords Dance? Maybe like an SD set would have been a little bit better here. Or Clear Amulet, right? Uh, I guess maybe Clear Amulet like Terra Fire. Don't get burned. Um, I think Clear Amulet Terra Fire. If you want to like set up on that thing specifically, um, you could DD on it. That would work. Um, Iron Thorns. Uh, does it get Swords Dance? It also gets Swords Dance, and that's a way of like getting past that. So I don't know. It's tough. I get it. Um, I think we weren't able to offensively position ourselves uh, well enough. Okay. Team Builder. <laughs> Subscribe. That's fire. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and post J Scar's vid. I'm on LeBron Glazing TikTok and it's driving me more. Dude, I that's my Instagram feed. I love it. I am a LeBron Glazer. The, the, the You Are My Sunshine jokes are my favorite thing. Like, literally ever.
They're so fucking funny. Oh my god. I'm also a 100% believer of LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time, and it's not particularly a conversation to me. But uh, I know the streets don't necessarily agree with that one, so I, I will hold that just a little bit. Yeah, look at all the packs. Look at all the packs. Look at all the packs. Oh, dude, big Kirby birthday packs. Big Kirby birthday packs. Fun fact, last year we forgot Kurt's birthday. Um, I don't do good with birthdays at all. I never remember birthdays. I don't remember, like, every year, just in case I forget it, my dad will be like, hey, it's your mom's birthday. My dad and my mom have been divorced for uh, about 20 years now, and I'll be like, hey, it's your mom's birthday. Please remember to text her. It's uh, Jay Scurf. And I will probably forget. This is going to be the team I'm using for week one of LTM against t -Row. There we go. Just all right. So, big Jay Scurf. Please check out Jay Scurf. Very, very nice guy. Like Jay Scurf a lot. So, Jay Scurf is our week two opponent, so I really want to watch him this week because we are not going to be watching him next week, um, no matter what. So. Um, but first things first, I'm bringing a silver ledge with boots and flash fire. Now, weak armor wasn't looking as good okay. here. I don't really want to weaken my um, own defenses. SC flame charge. Um, yeah. I like it. Very strong Pokemon, I can tell you from experience, like a stick. Um, Volting just rocking Shiny Shocks, makes sense. Choice Scarf Terra Psychic on the Meloetta. So, probably just Psychic Spam's really good in the T-Rose team. That's what it looks like. Makes sense. Then we got... Big Milotic, uh, very, very super death on the set. Flip turn Scald, Dragon Tail, and Recover. Put things around. Big Braviary. Max Spadef set, boot set, with Defiant, um, Roost Defunk, you turn Brave Bird. And Big Chestnut with Spikes. Um, so, I'm a bit concerned with the Defunk here. There must be a really bad scenario that we need to keep Hazards away for, because it seems like our team is very Hazard-centric in Rocks um, and in Spikes here. Um, but also Max Spadef on the Chestnut, so very specially offensive team. Um, we have the Milotic, which is a really good anti-check, though, so that's nice. All right. Yeah, Speaking of which, we have. Um, I think this is just free. Lead shocks is what this would indicate to me because there's no bound to block a bolt, which also makes shocks a big win con. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, was his was his footage? Uh oh. His footage got fucked up. It's okay. We can just watch the post come. Or super effectively once shaman is on and shaman is still flying. I've learned in preview because it's a terror preview. So shocks are really good. Terror flying. Okay. I kind of expect shaman to lead for the opposite team. And then oh yeah, this is on um, T-Rose footage because mine wasn't very good. I'm just gonna be using that the whole match anyways. Um, but like I only, I only have a little bit of mine and yeah, it was just kind of scuffed. But anyways, um, this is gonna be a shaman. <laughs> Jay no, we wanna watch your videos, big dog. Because obviously I don't exactly. I, I don't okay. really want to be like scarf C player. But, but I'm also not opposed to post comps. I personally actually really like post comps. Etc. Especially if you're terror flying. So, shocks lead and shaman. Damage and B is also going to help me. Um. What am I thinking here? Pretty free it's Seed Flare, right? It's like lefties, I guess, is the other thing, or see if it's damage boosting. So yeah, I just bolt for free. And then Braviary is always meant to be the initial check into this thing, since it's pretty free. Yo, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's, it's wait, Braviary is a phenomenal check to this. You're gonna proc Defiant, you're Max Spadef, so you take it on really well. If that minus two happens, that's a plus two Brave Bird for free, dude. And then, like, Mono resists my attacks, but they don't know that. And, yeah, I can pretty easily call it He's coming in here, and I just click U-turn well before D-Rock like this. Yeah, you always click U-turn. Even if it stays in, you get a slow U-turn out, right? So the Braviary is great here. But I actually am going to definitely opt to go Shocks here because I don't want to get paralyzed on Seru with um a priority. Yeah, it's really, really good here. It's really, good here, and I'll trade my entire life for a T-Wave, and maybe he's even off our fist definitely somehow. So Shocks is just free. Um, It's probably free momentum. Unless this thing's magnetized, but then that's good information, and I'll get some rocks up. But anyways, we disconnected there, which is a bit annoying, but we recreated just fine. Um, It took like two seconds. We were two turns in. So mm -hmm. not the biggest issue in the world, to say the least. And then. From there. He's just I was here in DC like, super late. Yeah, there's nothing more infuriating. I want to start punishing this sort of cycle of switching. And now I'm facing another shaman again. I already know I have speed, so it's just free chip with both. And that basically just ensures that T-Row can't switch himself. And this thing is grass and flying coverage, so it's like, it's all by decent. Amount of at the time, but it's balls, and it's leech and synth, which is interesting. I usually opt for one or the other. But anyways, I don't know any of this at the time. So if you're just looking at this position, and I'm like, it's probably just not a grass move. Technically, it could be a power too. Braviary is still super safe, but since it's terraflying, like that to me indicates, I mean, sure, it might be terra it might be air slash, I don't really know. But to me, that definitely indicates I wonder why it was terra flying. Terra ground seems really strong here. Terra water seems very strong as like a neutral typing as well. Um, from here, I know I can just like you turn Maybe there's something on the bench though that we're not thinking of i well, guess yeah, chestnut chestnut, chestnut like, yeah swap out. at the end of the day not like the biggest deal because terra electric would have been cool too because it hits this thing really hard um which is like an absolute wall to it you can still be air slash for the chestnut if you're worried about chestnut you know logic like yeah i could go into super ledge sure but i really just don't want to get t-wave it'll still absolutely nuke it so who's the other main check i'm thinking of i'm just gonna matter the point is there's definitely checks so i think i just go right back into sandy here um because honestly why the hell not um i can just bolt in for days which is like 
favorite draft player strategy, even though often people don't actually capitalize on it to make much progress in the end. But yeah, I just go Sandy here, and to me it's either they're swapping, they're like... I mean, you can they're... get up your rocks, right? I feel like rocks are super clutch. You know the shame is not Scarf, and you don't really need to catch momentum on it. Oh, no, rocks are up, you just fold. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is just incredible positioning for J-Scarf. He, there's, he just has D-Row in a constant loop. So I'm just gonna use Oh, dude, I would have gone to freaking what do you call it again? I mean, I guess this thing is like low key unguardable. For damage. Um, not even much damage at that. Like, if it's Earth Power Max special attacks, doing like 60 or something on a high roll. So, like, that's just so not. Yeah, and then you just bitter play it back. I need to get this in later against either slower threats that I at least do a huge chunk to, or just into like Lucky, which probably can't touch me unless it's actually foul play, would be pretty threatening nonetheless. I'm mm -hmm. from here just going to, um, Poltergeist, I believe. It's good neutral play, I absolutely everything possible, even though I'm getting intimidated here. Um, oh, no, sorry, I forgot. I sort of chance. Like, I gotta be greedy. Oh, SD up? I don't know if SC is a play. Probably lost. Or not lost, but lost this at least. Um, I probably this Wait, does this guy get baton pass now? Hold on. No way, him on top got momentum, dude. You turn him on top. You turn him on top. I had no idea, bro. Got baton pass. That's actually really cool for him. Potential helmet, and I'm at full health already. Anyways, this is just stronger, and I can scout for item. So I probably could have swords again. I was worried this thing would have sucker. Um, so at the end of the day, I was fine just going for the damage and. I do believe here, I'm just so worried about getting suckered and losing this thing on one to the hit on top when I really want this thing to be able to spin block for me, um, continuing through the game that, like... This is just really strong that. here, right? He's, he's definitely thinking about it, because this thing doesn't... I think my favorite person to watch this week was As, and just because, uh, she was really, uh, she's being silly, and I'm, I'm used to serious As from PPL. That's valid, yeah, and then she's, uh, she's kind of taking this one a little more chill. We're actually gonna watch her game last, I think, from her side. Which will be cool. So it's pretty fine here. And then I want to say I brave bird here because I'm I am faster and I don't want to get axled or something. This thing's already pretty weak, and I think he knows at this point that I'm defiant. So I think I just brave bird for damage here, and I'm not gonna do a whole lot though with the cleft key. I'm probably gonna do. A I mean, it's fine though. It's unrecoverable. We have rocks up. I think the main thing is you want to get your spikes. Um, T Row is also gonna get his spikes though, which is really big. It, again, we need to punish the constant switching. We need to punish the constant switching. Definitely kill me if I didn't do that. We have to hope there's not boots though. Hang around. Um, screen set. So either way, I should just defog, and then I can one v one this thing with defog essentially, which is like kind of crazy, but it's it's true. It does it does work out because defog gets rid of screens. It um it gets rid of my rocks, which is kind of unfortunate because it's definitely hard harder to. We're gonna have to go and get, get snowy after, after this game in a second. Harder. But I think this time, yeah, I just break right into this thing, and then now this very next turn, I can um. I can defog because I'm still in the healthy range I want to be in. But well, I've gotten this thing to like a third of its health. Yeah, and I like the fact that this thing is fog too. Like I guess we haven't gotten up our own spikes and we have to get up our own rocks again later. But but yeah. Here, it's so good play on the roost slash defog for Tier to get into his ente. Yeah, it doesn't stop that at all. Sorry. Um, but again, the issue is this Milo man. Milo's just not um, going to be punished. Like Milo because why not? And then if they sacred fire, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna know basically the amount of damage A, and then I'm also gonna get. Oh, we missed a sacred fire. That's tough. I mean, maybe this is actually fortunate. And this thing's just gonna flip turn forever, ever, 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 and ever. It's okay for me. He's always flip turn. He's saving the best for last because I'm so amazing. So true. And we can't watch mine, so you know, next best, right? So yeah, it's just gonna flip turn forever. Like, <laughs> again, we just, now we get up our hazards. Next time we get up our hazards again, the game's just over. We always have the brave here to defog. Like, it's kind of just a war of attrition. Right? I do think I should have gone into brave here and just like U-turn because there's no real reason not to. But I did send out Mellow yeah. because I figured Clefty's low and I might as well put the pressure on as early as possible and get my Terra off as well. Not that it helps me. And this kind of works as well, right? There's nothing that really wants to take this Terra Psychic, right? I just click Terra Psychic here because it's gonna put on so much of a threat the most chaotic <laughs> yeah cop raja will fuck you up in all caps yeah. is a little bit chaotic i can't lie it's a little it's, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a little, a little, little aggressive there me, which is actually kind of annoying i don't really like being chipped and i don't like but yeah we just turn psychic here gonna end up ultimately staying but i do get that double stab boosted um adaptability psychic and i go first which to me is like he knows i'm scarf now but i don't think the shaman was actually fast enough um where that mm. happened, as you'll see later on in the game. And, and this thing um, super smokes here. Like, there, there's nothing that takes us on. I don't think your cleft key can switch in. Unless it's FNAF, right? Even then, like, it's not really do anything. Hold on, I'll be right back. What's up, Dan? I do, I would say I made a mistake not going Braviary, probably, but it's like, so relatively minor. Um, I do think BB would have actually got the cleft key on swap, though. Um, yeah, I think it would have got it on swap, so I could have just gone into that against Shaman and clicked that, and I probably would have been in a really good spot, I probably would have forced the sack. But from here, we're gonna do, like, just a tiny bit shy of what I needed, and that's okay, but it does mean A, this thing's spit F, and B, it's not great for me, because I figure this thing's gonna light screen, and I kinda need to hard swap here, I only net, like, 30 damage on the cleft key, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure if I was expected to stay in here or not, but light screen, light play is, like, pretty good with my whole team, so I don't, I can't fault that play. I do make a hard play into Homsera, because I don't expect it to be no attack, I expect it to be screed spikes, and even if it's foul play, I'll go first and get rid of this thing, so I think right here, 
I based on like where I'm at in the game, I think pull up is gonna put like so much immediate pressure on literally anything. So it's just neutral to everything. There's no resist rot between the sneasel not coming and not really being a resist anyways, and then I forget who the is there a normal type that I could have been worried about? I don't even think so. So like overall it's just free. And you'll see that my EVing did work out because this is gonna do um, Alright, like, we're back. This is where I find out if boots are worthy. Um early on at least. But yeah, Everybody, can I get some snowies in the chat, please? Nah, I'm is, being is, a dick. Offensive and it's boots. I'm snowy. So, like, really good piece of information at this point. Yeah, I know. See, I'm and, kinda um, naughty. Aider, alright, full, but everything else is like very, very weak. Only shade is ready to self back up, like at all. Everybody's a little snowy. I respect that play a lot. I think it's like Mellow should get rapid spin. I mean, it's like, it's almost like a dance move, right? It feels like it's a move that's like a dance move. This is a risky play to an extent because I see, I see Mr. Halper in chat. I know you could drop some snowies. Yeah, I'm snowy. And I'm sleepy. Oh, it's just the, it's the walls. Okay. Looks like the Dragology is in. Poison point in my favor, I, I know for a fact, as someone who plays Jace Griff Week 2, his team is very dragon weak. Unless he's like a Terra Fairy Mellow. Um, his fairy is a. Uh, what do you call it? Weezing. And Weezing obviously cannot switch into this guy. It spins for dancing? No, I get it. I agree. There we go. There's a snowy. Look, you have your own picture. Can you stop being annoying now? Oh, I'm gonna have to sit all awkward so she can lay on my lap. Or she's gonna be annoying. Um, well, I mean, yeah, sucks for T-Rock, but... And then from here, I don't really know, to be honest. The Draco miss is actually super yeah, tough. Yeah, We've done a lot of damage, forces this thing into a roost, you get a flip turn or a talk spike up. I just played for um, damage, because we do a lot into this thing, which is, like, bulky, but not... Yeah. Not the most physically bulky, where... So cute. I'm saying, and that's why she got her own one. So, yeah, I just go for it. And Give Quimelo Quiver, if real. Uh, well, it sounds like I'm not real. I don't want to deal with Quiver Day. Give him Quiver after week two. Oh my god, everything's almost dead. With a play like this. It's, it's tough. Why is everything he, almost dead? Um, nice thing. Yeah, so I think he, he just flips. It's, it's safer than, um... Okay, we see a roost. Other forces need to get rid of... Nice little foot turn. Um, a hoggy, yes, yeah, sir. Like, um, big snowy. Like, Any big snowies in the chat? Be fair, so Can you stop licking my hand and just lay down like a normal? Be normal. He probably forces me out and threatens me. I'm just waiting here to see what happens if I play reactively, because I still have a backbone just walking to, like, anything on their team. Yeah. Um, I do think you really have to preserve... Why is Gator just draft league player? And they don't have the health. Um, if you can really weaken everything somehow, then maybe end today with. <laughs> He's just a draft league player. Gator does look like he plays draft. And with Gator in, I think he's gonna see that I do have an overdock. Gator would be really upset to find out he's kind of ass. I have to go on. I kind of have to go hard my In standard, at least, unless he can Terra. Then he's super broken. But isn't that just the story of Terra, right? I just simply like, yeah, I can't afford, I can't afford to. I'm big with you. Ouch! Freeze. On it. It's valuable defensively here still. So Milo is quite helpful, and there's no chance of frozen. Um, on that. Is he? Um, he's not trailblaze, huh? Slow flip, I See, I think you really want to trailblaze in this matchup into Milo. I don't know what Crunch is for per se, but I, don't have I think you really, really want so, trailblaze. Yeah, it's free to flip here. I could technically just like drag. All right, doesn't he get trailblaze? Get gets trailblaze and sheer force boosted, so it'll two a kill the shit out of Milo. Yeah, Tiros, I think about this more a lot because at this point, all he really does is buy Milo's. Dude, everything's so low. You would probably assume I can dragon tail. Oh, the whole team is yeah, absolutely insane, actually. I basically force a KO with um, with what's it called? I basically force KO with Melo unless Tiro goes into like. Who would who would Melo not really be forcing KO into? I don't know. Maybe if Gator stays in DDs, I can't go Melo, but I still have answers. I think DD in there might. You going to the bed, Snow? Okay, I'll see you later. And my backbone's pretty weak with Bravery, like half. But I just flip. Oh, stretching! I know. I'm not a bridge. Thank you. No, lay down. This thing's going down. I can sit like an old person again. I forgot to mention that. I forgot like you're really not to be honest, but at the time I was there, I was like, sweet, get more, and there's no screen for me to have to worry about. Um, not making that up in post con. Just um, remembering now. But anyways, from here, food is up. Although Snowy's in. I think that's kind of just the play here. I think shaman's valuable because in he's my so I think room, just keys which aren't like amazing, and then if you did, streaming you know, spiker screen once at least, I know, and that's that's, second, uh, which isn't that good here, and it ultimately does choose to second off because like, I think at this point it's probably a bit later in the game state, I'm not gonna get a hazard. Okay, so it's him, so psychic, so goodbye. This thing kills something every time it comes into. Like, this thing is just a monster here. I'm just gonna be able to swap out. An absolute monster. I mean, the, the psychic um, yeah, resistance this team is Klefki, so. A tough spot. Although, I'd probably prefer light screen because otherwise, this mellow is just running to your whole team. But from my point of view, really, really tough spot at the moment. Um, and that's okay. It's not great. But ultimately, I'd rather just use this as the final time I can sort of position Seru. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah. And then the other thing here is I can just flame charge. And it's gonna kill through Reflect if he goes to Reflect. But it's also gonna make me faster so I can get Entei or I can get Shaman, you name it. Um, whoever they swap in defensively, I can get Dragalge with Poltergeist. And there's no reason to worry about um, helmets anymore because I've established no one can possibly hold a helmet. Um, mm -hmm. And I just flame charge and now my speed is up. And dual screens are gonna be up for eight turns. Well, what? I guess at this point, six light screens, seven Reflect. But I can always defog those away if I'm given the right opportunity. So at least that part of it's nice. And. Against the Seru here, I think you have lots of pretty safe switch like, I think you can basically go into the door or the dog. Yeah, he goes into this, but like. Um, for sure. I still do value keeping this around when I have Milo, so like. 
I don't need to sack here anyways. If, I don't if this was Trailblaze, this guy could have totally won. I'm not tripping, right? Gator gets Trailblaze? No barking, it's fine. He's just barking at nothing. One dog barks out there, and the other one's like, oh, we gotta fight? Alright, it's time to fight. Are we just DD? And Zero's just gonna go for the DD. That's fine. That's fine because I know I have Dragon Tail. Um, I'm not sure if he's expecting me to Dragon Tail with a Haze or whatever he might be thinking here, but it doesn't really matter much. I'm just gonna click Dragon Tail. If I get a miss and then suddenly Gator's at plus two and I'm attacking, it's gonna make Milo super weak. And then I'm in a bit of a position where End is really, really scary, but it's not the end of the world considering I still do have the Flash Fire and I still do have, um, Shock. I think you just get your damage and you need and to open up for Entei. Yeah, man. I don't know. Not the point. Threat has been, like, averted essentially. And Dragal just actually gets brought in, which is, to be honest, quite annoying. I do think. What I have to do here, though, is keep this in healthy because Gator and Entei always are scary. And I'm pretty spadef on which, what's that guy called? Um, Chess Nanshi spadef on mm -hmm. that because I was anticipating Galf to be here and be relatively offensive and threatening. Um, or at least I was prepared for that possibility, so I'm very spadef. And that basically just means I can. It does what's here for us. Well, that's the whole thing, dude. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's, still, it's still it's still a grass tech. I mean, I'm gonna calc it, right? So you have to think about this We're gonna still listen in the back. Let's see. Is there even a difference between doing those? Because I could, I could probably just let Sarah go down. Uh, see, I don't, I don't care about the speed boosting. I don't even know, but I do think I realized, like, in the calc, hey, you know, as modestly. That's sheer force boosted. <laughs> Milotic. Yeah, that's just, that's just, like, neutral. I know this is spadef, right? But even before fizz def, Milo doesn't threaten us. It threatens us with burns, maybe. But, like, if it's dragon tailing us out, we're two at killing at plus one. You know? If I can stall the screens, now the keys are down. Yeah, the detail, I mean, detail plus just wouldn't, like... So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just stalling, basically. I'm the fact that Tiro couldn't keep up hazards yeah. is the biggest, yeah, is the biggest issue. My team is, like, between... I have more defensive pieces than this. I have my Weezing, um, and spoilers, I don't even... I don't even know if I'm gonna use it now in week two, but I, um, I have my Weezing, and I have my chest, and I have my Milo. I have Rabia, which can be very defensive, but Alion can be very defensive. Um, mm -hmm. I have a whole lot of options. And, yeah, the Sludge Wave isn't doing enough to me just because it's at minus two. is a clarification I should make. Um, so yeah. Keep getting my health back. And, like, and they can come in, that's fine. Um, that's really, truly not the end of the world for me because. Although I'm not up to the range of health I need to be into, actually, I would live from this range considering it's boots. I just can't really afford to make that play because EQ's not going to kill through Reflect, which is still up. And that's why I don't um, make the big play here. But yeah, Tiro's going to aggressively double in Dragal, which is like fine because I know Milo can chew. Yeah. Um, and I'm not too worried about getting poisoned by Sludge Wave. And I can just honestly sit in Scald and Burnfish as a source of damage and just wait for Springs to run out because that's really, realistically speaking, when I'm going to be able to like win. Um. So yeah. I get my lefties on at 100%, I believe. Neither of us have really had Yeah, I mean, there's this is not really a position where you ever lose here, right? But anyways, just Sludge does a lot, though. Dragalzi's so strong. I'd probably just go Sludge Bomb, right? Just to beat more poisons, but... Dragalzi is so strong. Um, but yeah, his Reflect is gone now, so like, that's basically just the end for screens, which is really nice for me. Yeah, I'm not in Draco range. Um, I might recover here, I'm not sure. I don't have that many to burn because it is, um, Gen 9. But, like, I can definitely scout to see if he's gonna Draco. But regardless... Either place fine. I do end up scalding, yeah, so one more would take him out. Um, you just recover here on Draco. Like, you're fine. To take on Gator and Entei. So I'm going to um, recover on this turn for sure. And this might be where Zero Draco's. Yeah, it is. So I recover. I don't think I'm in Draco range at all. Um, I shouldn't be. Nope, and now you're good. Now you just recover again. Last turn, you might have been in Draco range. I can't lie. You might have been in Draco range. I can't lie. <laughs> Dude, he's about to fucking... Yeah, I mean, this is this one is just kind of a war of attrition. My just going to get back up to full. We flip turn out. Now, I am sort of just looking at Shaman coming in, which is annoying, because I don't have- Shaman, it's gonna get some lefties. It's slowly getting healthy again, which is nice, but... I don't think oh, it particularly, particularly matters. I think, yeah, I like the Milo play, too. It's yeah, offensive. Ugh, the miss sucks, but I don't think it really matters. I think this- I think the Seed Flare just kills anyways. Or, I, or Seed Flare. The Psychic just kills anyways. so strong, boosting its adaptability levels, and there's no resist, there's no health really on any- Yeah. And you could definitely sack here, or you could- well, you can go for a few plays here, I think. Um, C flare's fine, but it's already been established. I mean, really it's just a KO. So this is just a sack. But it makes sense. I think next up is gotta be Entei coming out because, in theory, it should outspeed me. And I do think this was a bulky Shaman. So I do think that Chiro doesn't know I'm Scarf yet. And then going to Entei will sort of establish that. On my mm -hmm. head, like, does he speed get me? But even if it was banded, it wasn't. Maybe gonna after the leech, and he speed would have killed. I don't know. I think he's just psychic. Yeah, I'm fine to just psychic here. Like, if he gets like 30 something percent with E speed, he gets 30 something percent with E speed. I don't even know if it would even do that much, to be honest. So, yeah, and that's just raps. Like, like, you might even just kill Gator. But regardless, I'm just gonna psychic. And I do get KO on Entei, which is nice. The game's basically wrapped from here on up 6 2, and basically up 6 1. But Gator's always threatening. Um, Gator's definitely always threatening. Yeah. I do think it's Gator, and I'm gonna make an interesting play here, to say the least. Um, yeah, I mean, you'll see. Anyways, Gator comes in here. Now, something, dude, I might just Psychic here. I think just Psychic is the play here. I don't know. I think just Psychic is the play here. In case you get super, super unlucky, last Mon Gator, and if you're not getting any Skull Burns, if it, like, DDs up, you can't detail it out anymore. You might get crunched through. You know, if this thing gets to the plus two, it's, it's wraps, right? Yeah, considering I think he's just attacking, I'm like, 
whatever, it's fine. Um, <sighs> yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like that play. I think the I think the diff save is greedy. And then from here, I have so many things in the back. Where I think the diff save is greedy. Although I do think it was safer to psychic there because I'm scarf. And that's something he DM me about after the game. But from my perspective, I don't think you can ever DD there knowing I'm scarf because if you DD once, I just kill you the second time. So I think I always know your attack. Well, I mean, he can play for your choke, right? Okay, I have a 100 shot. He can play for your choke. It's also just thinking like late, late game so yeah, um, position wise. Yeah, now this thing comes into wins. 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 But like really late game positioning wise, it could have made last one Gator in on Milo really, really threatening if you don't get a burn. Like I think you just lose. I've already done. Well, I've only done 13 to it so far, but yeah. Anyways, this thing can't really afford to DD here, although. I think that's your only out if you live, and yeah. So he's just looking at it, but realistically, I'm just going to clean up from here. I have so many options indicated. And Shox is T-Bolt. I mean, so he went. I think that the diff save was greedy, though. I actually do agree with Tiro in that sense. I think the diff save was really, 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 really greedy. Um, that potentially put him in a really tough spot. Um, but yeah, good win, though. Very good win, though. Regret this. Very good win from uh, J-Scarf. So, all right. We got two more. I got two more. All right. We have a big Vepsis. Vepsis is almost at 400 subs. What's up, Electric? How's it going, bro? Vepsis, almost at 400 subs. Vepsis is one of my favorite draft guys to watch. Personally, um, I have watched Vepsis a ton since Generation 7, actually, I think. Yeah, um, I really, really enjoy watching Vepsis stuff. I think he makes great, great content, and he's a phenomenal player. Top 5 in the uh, in the Wi-Fi scene, in my opinion. Please go sub to him. If we get him to 400, that'd be really, really cool. Like, the, the mini, the mini Pokemon effect, and not, like, you know, top end, things like that. Yo, thanks for answering my uh, question about LTM Pulse Troll. You guys have a dis sick Discord. Oh, of course, man. No worries, no worries. Always happy to help. Um, but yeah, go check out Vepsis. I would appreciate it. I hope we get him there. He's only three away. It's a nice milestone. Every time you hit 100, it's always nice. Oh, look at the drip. Okay. He's going ready to go. Issues from his side. Hopefully this time, fingers crossed, everything stays uh, and works on his side. Because he has issues with his obvious uh, or... Alright, we don't know much about what the team is right now. Unfortunately, so you cussed up on the uh, thing. Lum, so maybe some kind of uh, shift gear variant. Covert cloak on our Gudra. Interesting. Maybe for Fez. We don't want to be poisoned. Um, we don't really think that much from, like, Moonblast, maybe from Player House and things like that. Helmet Mandy. And then we don't know from these two. We can't see. We'll see, though. Um, when it comes to but yeah, to these, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna check out Vincent's uh, channel, see if he's gotten any right here. Still at 397. I do. We got fucking 18 people here. I know three of you aren't subbed. I know it. I know it. Come on, go ahead and drop one. So we're gonna see Killo. And I guess that helps a bunch from Killo. I'm interested to see why he's um covert. Um okay, there's a set, it's on screen. Detail EQ knockoff toxic. Knock is super super free in this scenario, which is really, really nice. EQ is gonna nuke the Fez too. Like if you knock on EQ, you're gonna 2k the shit out of that guy. So that's really, really nice. Yeah. So Terra. Terra ground. U-turn. There's like no flying resist in this team. Uh, the flying resist is Rev. I guess it's like super effective on Rev, right? But Rev doesn't resist Volt or Thunderbolt, right? I figured a choice spec set would be really nice here. I think Asalfest versus me because he brought the Fest DVD in my mind, thinking that it's for Halucha, and Asalfest will probably be solid answer for um, being Asalfest for my Indeedy as well as the. Can we knock? Give it a sledge, which is really, really nice. I have option to go into my Colossal on the U-turn on a Prey Rock, but I don't want to get poisoned with it. So I think I'll use early on my setup uh, Prey Room. It's meant to be a potentially late game breaker or winning condition, but for now it's working as a pivot and enables me to not let anything else get uh, toxic mm -hmm. on. So U-turn's gonna do nothing. We get taunted immediately, so we can just throw off a strong attack, right? We can throw off a gunk. We can throw off an iron head pretty freely. I mean, this adamant rev is really, really strong. Really, really strong mon. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Okay, where are we going into? Flygon? I mean, yeah, you want to be a poison here. I mean, it's not like you can set up and win right now with Flygon here anyways. Holy sh- Dude. I always, I always try and defend Flygon. I'm like, hey, that guy's pretty fire. I think he's good. He's not, man. He just took 40 from Gunk? He just took 40 from Gunk, man? It's fine. 
them to Dragon Dance Dragon, and that's why he hardly draws. Okay, we're gonna pivot out. Yeah, it's probably not a, probably, at least it's not a U-turn variant, right? Because if you're gonna switch, you're probably U-turning there. Unless you're worried about Scarf, or you're like a really slow Flygon, but no, because you wouldn't be that, that frail if you're a bulky Flygon. Discharge does nothing, we don't get parried. And here I can go for a free earthquake. Now he doesn't really have a crowning immunities, and he would potentially force the, the car's name is Jeremy. So I like that play. I'm gonna go for the earthquake. So you just EQ here. Um, it would have done a shit ton of this thing if it stayed in. Losing his flying type, it's gonna do a shit ton of fez coming in potentially too, which is really really nice. Either force it into a roost and give you your rev offensively again, or um, keep this thing super low. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just get into rev again. Oh, we're Meteor Beam Terra Fairy. Terra Blast into the D-Gleam, we just does that little bit more. You just do that little bit more, so I guess it's valid. If you know you're gonna Terra. Yeah, if you know you're gonna Terra, it's your only Terra Mon. That's valid. Yeah, dude, just attack. I mean, this, this thing's ungodly strong. I'm Iron Heading. Oh, there's a bro. I mean, he ha he didn't go into bro the first time, which does kind of make me think like, hey, is it like an AV bro? I kind of like that play, actually. I'm gonna shift gear. It's what early if it's shift gear and if it's like a spadef bro, you'll two it KO it, and Iron Head will let, if you shift gear up, you'll be able to kill the, what do you call it, with Iron Head afterwards. Yeah, you're Lum too, you're not gonna be threatened and O-code by anything. You hit two gunk shots, this thing might die, depending on its spread. So we go for gunk shot, and this should 2 FKO this low bro, if it's max HP. We go for gunk shot, and we miss, which is really unfortunate. As he goes for the skull, doesn't 2 FKO me, which is nice. And you go again. I see. Oh my god, that did so much. Dude, you can like, you can like fucking Iron Head, right? You don't die to random helmet. That's also not gonna be helmet. That's like no fizz death. I think Iron Head just kills, man. Because he hits most things in the back as well. So we go for Iron Head, because he might have to regen this down because he needs this thing alive. And Iron Head hits everything neutral right now. Yeah. Dude, that first miss really blows. Hopefully I wasn't too premature, uh, premature with this. But you have to hit the gunks, yeah. Unfortunately, as, as we saw there, you do have to hit the gunks. This is great. This is really good, because this opens my good trust. Who is the ball? Dude, that's not a good... That's, uh, that's not what we're gonna be doing, Berna. Who is the person that is, uh, that is Vepsis, but, uh... It's, it's not... But in case he will stay in, I have to Let's not do that. Up. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Vebs is a very, very good player. Well, yeah, very, very good positioning. Oh, wait, did wait, did I miss it because I was deleting an annoying comment. Um, did Iron Head not kill or did we Iron Head on a pivot? Oh, we just the Fez. That's really nice, though. We take the Fez being gone, right? Yeah, we take the Fez being gone. I mean, this thing just dies to gunk, right? <laughs> you gotta hit. Wait, he's gonna have to pivot out. My bet, you're good. Uh, we're just we're vibing here. We're having a good time, bro. But yeah, I mean, this is great positioning. I mean, dude, if Jeremy fucking hits... Jeremy's just gotta hit, man. Did I link the game? I did link the game. Yeah, I did. What do you do here? Yeah, I think you just, uh, I think you just gunk here. So this gives me a to go for a hit here. Oregon C, I would love to kill this thing. I would love to kill this. Come on, Jeremy. It is download. Interesting. But you're dead, right? Oh, I don't land it. Yeah, you got another chance. Well, I go for Iron Head now. We have missed half of our gunk shots, but hopefully when it matters versus the Slowbro, we will kill it. So hopefully Iron Head, ah, oh, it doesn't kill, though. Doesn't That's kill. brutal. I mean, this thing's still putting crazy work, right? You got, you got one, uh, you got 1.9 Pokemon. Chip down the thing, yeah. Get some hazards here. So versus this team. Very, very freely. Yo, the Mono Boom Coal is crazy. The Mono Boom Coal is crazy. Are we getting up our rocks or are you getting up a spike? Yeah. That's a lot of gunk misses, dude. Which really sucks. I mean, this thing would have gotten the slow back down to like 2 HP again. Or we just killed the slow at this point. Or we'd be at like 40%, maybe even live that psychic. Yo, Flagon looks cool though, man. He's just so bad. Oh, I love that guy. But he's terrible. I mean, you're always in a good spot right here, right? You can always just go into this. If it DDs, you foul play. Yeah, you foul play. If it didn't DD, you just U-turn. If it U-turned itself, it's gonna take a uh, helmet. Like, you're you're in a great spot. You're in a great spot. I do have armor at full health with Terra Fairy, so I can pull it up and bring it in. 
Oh, I always forget that that guy got Meteor Beam too. I always forget that Meteor Beam came back and like Gen 9 mods got it. I, for, I always forget Iron Moth gets it too, which is super shicey on a uh, booster speed or on a uh, agility set. Sorry, not booster speed. That wouldn't make much sense, would it? Meteor Beam should be one turn in Sandstorm, I've decided. This is gonna take a lot. Yeah, you just U turn, right? You don't have a for resist. I mean, you could also just U-turn. Yes, I think I'll do. But the sooner the Lord is gone, that's the expanding force immunity gone. And then this will yeah. be the for potential issue. He does go for the Axe Kick. Interesting. Now I'm at one, uh, 280 health. Yeah, we get, we get to plus two. That dies. I mean, like, Vest is an incredible spot. Now my armor is full health. It's more important for that flight on top because it's a Dragon Dance set. So I have to keep it at high health. Or ideally just full health with it. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if you outspeed this thing. I think you just pivot out. I'm gonna make sure that my Mandibus did outpace this Kilowatt Roll. But I'm pretty sure because of my speed investment and being at plus two, yeah, I'll pace you all the time. And because you're Terra Crown, Draper is a 2th KO now, but obviously I would die to electric move. So we mm -hmm. can to chip it down. There you go. We got Romandibus perving really, really solid in this matchup right now. I could go into my Colossal here, but then Terra Blast would be very spooky into me. So I'll just make a safe lane going to Kudra for now. He does go for Discharge. Discharge, no Para. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, the perks are big Covert Cloak. Poised yeah, to win. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I, I don't see a scenario in which Vestas loses this game. Like, at most, maybe we just lose our, uh, what do you call it, Colossal? To, like, a Custat Boom, or just, like, it getting sacked off? Um, not choice, but I think we already knew that. Come on, man. Yeah, PC comes out, it's gonna die to rocks. I mean, yeah, that comes out, that's it, this is another mod. I mean, like, he's in a fine spot. The, the biggest scare is probably the Kilo, but I mean, your Gucci still checks it even from this low. Yeah. And you could keep this thing around still, dude. <laughs> yeah, with rocks up. You're in a pretty good spot. What is the worst case scenario that if I go for Toxic, we're going to low kicks, but then I get to go into Mandibus on the future side. Low kicks is dead! Yeah, I'll Toxic this. Because I think Mandibus is able to swap on anything other than the Kilowatt Row, and I will stay in with Kudra on that case. So getting knockoff into Toxic is massive in this. Ice Beam. So that cannot reach me currently. It's not kill. Honestly, now I just go for any move here, to be honest. Which at this point might be just knockoff. Yeah, I think it's just knock. Knock is super free. It's going to put this thing in range of poison, or at least very, 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 very low. Um, or hits everything else. Please stop with the low kicks. It's crazy. Um, so he trades Gujar for this. I mean, Gujar put in crazy work too. Big covert cloak. Never had to worry about those discharge pairs, which made it much, much nicer. So good hindsight in there, Green. Okay, the future side might not still be there, or might still be there rather. So the Monda would be probably the most okay going to probably might be my colossal. I like Cole because you can either boom and sack on the Kilo, um, which is really strong here. Low kicks. Is, he did. He's really tweaking on this low kicks, huh? He is really tweaking on this low kicks. Colossal versus Kilowatt Roll with Terra Blast. Because I'm special defensive. I do live it on full. But then I'm in cost of rain, so I'll take that actually. I'll leave Terra Blast crown even here. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, and if you could trade this for that, I mean, you're in an incredible spot. So now what I can do is that I can go for Explosion here, knowing that I leave the hit. Yeah. I need to see the status. Okay. I can also go for a Spike here. But I don't know if it really matters at this point. I, I don't think it matters. I mean, Mandibus wins. Manipus wins, Armors wins, Indeed wins. There's literally no reason. Spike, wait, the last one in the back is fucking flying on. There's no low kicks! I mean, it's a Kilo. Yeah, that guy's super dying. Yeah, I mean, this is. Uh, it's only gonna be a 3 0, I think, but like, really, really dominantly positioned. So I wanna say we have this in the back, without Indeed. Flygon comes out. And I should be able to kill this. And he dragon yeah. Really Offensive scar set. So we just go for Dazzling Flame. I'm pretty sure this should kill, right? And I've seen you yeah. Dance. If you're Dragon Dance Scarf, then wow. I would be shockingly surprised. Wait, I see just Flygon being there. Is Loki's already dead? Am I just forgetting? <laughs> I'm so out of it. I see one Pokemon there. So is this the last Pokemon? Actually, I'm very thinking like Loki. Ninja Flame. Knock it out. Okay. Is it over? Oh, it is over. Okay, I don't... See, I was I was at the same time so dialed in. And at the same time, I was, I was so not dialed in. Because I completely missed on my commentary. That, Where the fuck did the Loki's go? Yeah. That might be the title. <laughs> that might be the title. Where the hell? <laughs> Wait, that's actually very fucking funny. Who killed low kicks?
<laughs> I'm also, but we we do we do love a good Eric Andre reference. I'm a big Eric Andre guy. I saw the actually the one stand up show I've ever gone to in real life was um, Eric Andre was at like a super local comedy club um, in Sacramento, and uh, I went and saw him with a buddy, and it was very funny. Funny guy. All right, last game. We're in the home stretch, ladies and gents. We have Addison. Oh, and it's the shortest game of the day. Beautiful. We love to see it. We love to see it. Let's put this shit on two times speed. Very good wind of Ephesus, by the way. I kind of said it as we were watching, but like super, super dominantly positioned. Very, very dominantly positioned. Good stuff for sure. All right. There's Addison. Also, wait, we need to... Come on. Where's where's Vepsis? I don't know. I'm here instead of here. Here, I'll look, pull up my own stream over here. Um, Vepsis. Oh yeah, three ninety seven. Come on, guys, guys. We had we had as much as twenty in when we were watching that game. Go check out Vepsis, please. Um, also check out Addison. Uh, we're gonna watch her game. I know she's taking this league with a little bit more of a relaxed approach, and I heard that her commentary was pretty darn silly from what I'm hearing. So I'm definitely looking forward to it because she usually is a uh, super locked in sicko mode. Uh, but very 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 good player coming off of a finals performance in uh, PPL. I'm not gonna spoil that game in case people haven't watched it yet. Um, but her mounted just played for PPL finals, so definitely playing really well right now. Let's see, big choice band Grimstar, which is cool. We have the worst uh, freaking white chemistry of all time this game, so we didn't bring it. I almost brought hydrogen, so that would have been really cool. Um, there we go. All right, last game of the day. Like most of the stuff that I expect them to, it's like kind of a slow change. Uh, That's a Troy Scarf, I believe, on the um, Staraptor. I can't see super well under, but it looks like the bottom one tenth of Troy Scarf. So I'm going to say it's that. Um, and nicely, there's no Zora. Mystic Warner on the Blaster, so it's probably more offensive variant. I wonder if it's a smash set or just like a four attack set. I think like a four attacks offensive blasters are super viable in a in a metagame where like the uh, power level is a little bit lower, you know. Hurt. Okay, banded trailblaze. Doesn't this thing get power up, or was that a last gen thing? Please, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's super fit. That's crazy that that did that much still. Torrent boosted flip turns can do a shit ton to the Grimstar, though. Holy moly. I do like the banded Grimstar ring, though. I think that's. Who am I? What's going on? Oh, this could be like Calm Minds. Flame Orb! Yeah, I guess if you don't want to get toxic. Oh, so we need to cut your nails, ma'am. No, you need your nails cut. I got. We're gonna pivot hard Strathor. We definitely don't want to get like glared here, right? Facade, big damage. That actually did a shit ton. Um, it's a lot of damage on a Pokemon that's uh faster than um, what do you call it? Uh, plus one Venomoth. So that's really really clutch right here. So you see, it's not going to kill because the Dun is the goat. Um, we love Big to Dun. I mean, you did kind of trade it for the Strathor, but again, um, this is Scar Strathor, so it really helps out with like with the potential Venomoth endgame a ton. It really, really helps out with that. Out in the Bay to Grimmsnarl once again. Here we go. I'm gonna throw a chop up. But yeah, I mean this is this is a KO. It's probably the Dun. It gets sacked here, uh, unless there's a good Dark Resist. I don't think there's a Dark Resist though. Like I really don't think there's a Dark Resist on the team. I haven't liked the video yet. Oopsie. There we go. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a shit ton. That is a Twid KO. That has to be Evil Light, right? No way Magneton doesn't get o code by that if it's not Evil Light. Um, I will say from Tone's side. Flash King is super free here. It's gonna super super chip down this Gligar too. Um, but I feel like Flash Cannon is super free. Right? I could be tripping. Try attack. Oh, he's going for. Um. Cool. Neat. All right. No, the rocks. We can't kill our rocks. That's crazy, actually. That's super brutal, man. Why the tri attack? Is there just is there no flash cannon on the set? Oh god, no, no, there's no way this is happening. I refuse. There's no way. I'm, I'm not allowing this to happen. This is such bullshit. Oh, this is such bullshit. Right, That's not bullshit. good. We're gonna get hard out into our mess, but um, I believe uh, she said this is Terra Dark on the Venomoth earlier, or I'm just remembering from watching this game. 
Um, ooh, just the lights go up. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Tear Steel. Trick Room is a great, great means of potentially slowing this kind of uh, big, big threat down, which is cool. We are going to go ahead and see a Terra. Terra Dark, yeah. It's Quiver Dance. See Quiver Dance or Bug Buzz. It's safety goggles too, so we don't have to worry about getting sleep powdered. The prep that this thing is forcing is crazy. Uh, Might have been an uh, oh, oopsie for me for uh, allowing this thing to Terra because I forgot to triple check my my tier board it wasn't meant to be allowed to terra but i just missed it every time i looked over the board and nobody told me i missed it so tone ended up getting terra venom off for like eight points yeah. um i guess the question is just like how much does rush take we're gonna see a bug bus oh my god Okay, so we see an Iron Head. I mean, this is Sheer Force boosted, right? This is going to do a shit ton. Not going to take Life Orb, so we get multiple attacks here. The Dun is going to get sacked off, so good sack save from Tone. Otherwise, like, something was dying, and that's unfortunate. So this could be Staff, this could be Banned. Do I die like Banded, Assault Rock? Do I always Banded, Assault Rock, Jamar? Never catch me. Like, you're out of it. Okay. Could be Sucker Punch. Yeah, I was going to say, Sucker is definitely something you have to worry about just a little bit. It's actually looking, like, insane. Like, Blaster's just been... So maybe we're fine. Who knows? Hey, shouts to Snip Snap. That's definitely not banded, by the way. Are we unthaw? Any unthaws? That Venomoth is really scary the next time it comes in, though, by the way. Can very much so win if it chips on the Mesper a little bit, but even that Mesper, it's not like it does anything. Big unthaw, actually. And getting out on the, um, on the potential, uh, rocks, which is really, really cool. Okay. Hmm. Is this Trick Room? Am I in Unirash though? Like, Swampert's something around. I don't need Rush. I'm gonna risk it. Because the opportunity is so huge. Like, it just gets a kill. No. I'm a silly girl. I'm so silly! Oh my god! Alright. Um... That's not good. <laughs> That's unfortunately pretty bad. You probably have to go Mesprit again, right? Or you can go Gligar and... Worst case scenario, she's just... Or he's just second Swampert. Yeah. I'm gonna say, like, Telesuit's faster if he does switch out here. Something tells me more. You're gonna see Mystical Fire, which makes uh, sense. Actually, Glagar yeah. Pivot's better because you're gonna take, um, you don't wanna take a fire move on your Terra uh, Fire Mesprit, or your Terra Steel Mesprit. Knock off an X, but definitely a more offensive variant. It's gonna kill this thing. I don't think the crit mattered. Okay. Alright, Terra Blast. Do a ton of damage here. You can still healing wish up that copper raja though, which is something to keep in mind. Though I will say you're gonna take a lot of damage on this mess right here, which again makes that Veno really, really scary at this point. Okay, here comes Pert. See a terror blast. Nothing. No damage at all. Um, I don't want this to take any chip as I need to. I'll try to just trick him now. Okay. Now from the spot, we're gonna trick room. I'll go Jillian turns a trick room. Let's go. And you can just healing wish up the Raj if you want, right? Oh, I just gave him trick room on us, didn't I? Shit. All right. Good pivot. Oh, I did not think about that at all. That was very silly. So it is smash. This fire pot kills me. I think you just try and healing wish, right? I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I'm gonna healing wish. Yeah, in case he live. But I'm gonna start again, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's good positioning by Tone to get in on the trick room. Um, no, we're slower and prevent the healing wish into Raj. Um, but Raj is gonna come out, it's just gonna iron head a couple times and pick some KOs, right? You have as much turns of trick room as humanly possible. Um, but yeah, this guy might die. Yeah, that's crazy. I know that's like a fish death ass pert, too, which is pretty wild. I'm not, I'm not dead to banded Assault Rock, so if he goes into this, I'm just clicking Iron Head. Mm -hmm. Iron Head, that's pretty cool. You're just Iron Head through this team for now. So, having back in. No, this is back in. Wait, this is the thing I'm worried about. This thing dies, right? Holy okay. shit! It does die. Um, oh my god. Yeah, Raj is going crazy here. Good, um, good trick room positioning with Raj. I think this is a really smart bring, especially because it's guaranteed slower than Hat, which is usually like, if I see a Hat, I'm not usually thinking OTR or anything, right? Because Hat's so damn slow. Um... But being 29 to 30 is huge. The only game that Rod's ever been good. That's what low tier's for. Let's go. I'm surprised we didn't try and pivot around a little bit more. But I don't think it's super mattered. Heat crash, yeah. I mean, Raj just got three in Trick Room there. And it got one earlier. I mean, Raj getting four is crazy. It's my goat. Uh, or 
It's my coat. I played not this game. I played very silly, but that's like I said, we're going to do with this. Okay, I'll think this. Out comes this thing. And you just iron head. You punish it for trick roaming, I guess. Yep. D Gleam's going to pick this off. Now we go Stoice. We jet. And then hopefully not suppose I could have also gone into Grim. Let's jet here. I'm just gonna just random cast out. Well, it couldn't be because it would have just clicked. It, it would have proc last turn. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of like and rock, right? I don't think I can risk it. I think I have to. Bandit Stone Age never KOs. KOs last ways. So I literally don't think there's a thing you can do. So we just make crushing. Okay. I mean, the thing is uh, a crit. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy that that almost kills. I remember seeing that in the actual game, dude. And the fact that well, I know it's offensive choice, I know it's choice band like rock, but dude, I did not think it would do that much. Ninety-five percent, like you're again a crit away. That thing won, which is crazy, because um, I don't think the grim was sucker. I could be tripping, but I don't think it was. I'm gonna check actually. Hold on, I want to see. No. Let's see. Let's see. I know. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't sucker punch. So something to keep in mind. So I mean, if that got the crit, it won. But obviously, we hope we don't get crit, and we didn't, which is cool. So what position by adding able to uh, come back after the uh, the mid game blunder with Trick Room and the uh, the big freeze on Gligar. Honestly, took away a really really important pivot um, for a little bit of that game. But yeah, well played. That's the last one of the day. We are done. Um, I appreciate y'all. Uh, what, we got like 13 fucking members today, which is crazy. Got a couple of Mets members. If you haven't joined the Discord, go ahead and join the Discord. And get the role that you were, uh, you know, either purchased or given, which is really, really cool. I need to update that as well. Um, and, like, make sure the right people have the roles and the right people don't have the roles and stuff like that. But yeah, two new Mets members. Big! Dude, paying for the money going, or paying for the food going on my table. Where I'd be without you guys. But yeah, I appreciate y'all. Um, thanks for the edge was an absolute max roll from Adam and Ben. Yeah, no, I mean, you definitely, if you obviously, like, for sure live, then you're good. You just gotta dodge that crit. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna jump off. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning. Um, I'm gonna go relax on my day off. I will catch y'all later. Adios. Adios. See ya.